I said, that's beef neck. <laughs> it's the 30s. They're coming in. <laughs> we are... We already had to, see, we was already big, so we go into our 30s. Cool. It's already. We can slim down, you know what I'm saying? We was already this shape coming in this way, you know what I'm saying? I came in the 30s big already. I'm going to be telling niggas, you getting fat. Like, you, you, you fat now. Niggas all the team, fat. Y'all niggas is getting fat. All the team stars, fat. they getting fat now. They getting that, y'all, I'm already, I've been big niggas. Why niggas start working out? They supposed to be working out 24-7, though. You know, Bones lost all that weight. Bones lost, like, fucking, at least, like, 20 pounds. 25, 30 pounds. And got like he like he was getting big. He What's like he doing? Drinking hella beer when he had the baby. He was drinking hella beer and he got big. And Why niggas be really getting big because alcohol? Because I mean, fucking carbs. Like bro, everybody be like, yeah, I drink this now because it's less carbs and shit. Like, I'm just a big guy. Like that's I don't really how drink. that's how White Claw got popular. Nigga, there's not too many carbs, bro. So drink White Claw. Shout out to White Claw, give us sponsorship. No, shout out to them. They gave us shit. Yeah, we already spent our own money. What's up, baby? They're gonna get me for that. That's just real. I don't think the women gonna like that for real. I feel like people respect me because I just really be honest. Like I don't come from a malicious place, or I don't come from like a a place of like I don't try to be misogynistic. You don't try to be, mm-hmm. not at all. So you saying you are? I'm not misogynistic, but I might have some opinions that people might think are misogynistic that yeah. some women might. But I'm I'm a very old school. Oh, you man. Andrew Tate type shit or what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's funny. I'm just asking. I don't feel. Andrew. I don't feel like I'm bad as him. He's fucking way more outspoken than me. I don't even feel like he's bad. I feel like I'm outspoken a lot. I don't. I won't <coughs> say everything that I. Why do you feel like he's bad? I feel like he's the same as everybody else. He's just outspoken with a platform. I don't feel like he's bad. I just feel like he ain't got no sister for uh the the platform he has. But don't get me wrong. Like I said, I still love the guy. He says dope ass shit to me. It's just fucking. The the higher ups, you know, when you get too fucking, when you when you say whatever you want, the higher ups are gonna sit for you eventually. Yeah, like hold on, you they doing, don't want you to. They want you be, too much now. They want you to be politically making correct. people too woke. I don't mm-hmm. like that. I don't like when people woke. I was watching an interview. And he was just talking about the whole Jake Paul shit, and he was like, you know, Jake Paul, he needs the industry behind him. He needs people to like him. He needs the corporations to fuck with him and shit like that. And Andrew Tate was talking about, like, I don't need nobody to fuck with me. Like, you know what but I'm what saying? You gonna, what are you going to do now, though, with no social media platform? I feel like he's still booming. Like, this, he's on, actually, he started the Rumble. You know, you heard, you know Rumble? It's like a new platform. It's like a new YouTube. But uh, it's Matter of fact, I seen it. I seen somebody say something about Rumble. I'm about to make a Rumble account. I made one. But I thought that probably was you then. I made a Rumble account and I made a true social. I got both. I'm ba- I'm banned from Twitter. You banned from Twitter? Fuck yeah. Officially? I've been, I've been off Twitter for like at least a good two months. This is my first time in like probably over 10 years I haven't had Twitter. Like, And it's been a good like two two months now I haven't had Twitter. That nigga Tuck not on Twitter either now. They banning us. Nah, not even, he's not even banned. They're doing some shit like where they want him to send a verification, the, uh, verif- verification to an email he don't use no more. Mm. So it's like he can't get back into it. Man. Follow me hey, on True no. Social. What's going on with social <laughs> networks, though? Like, I see people getting their Instagram deleted left and right. Bro, it's a Twitter. new... Twitter. Like, what's going on? Because it's a, it's a new... Uh, I'll beat you already. On camera. Fucker. On camera. My shit, man. On camera. But uh, it's a new... We live in a new society. I got, I wake up in the morning, nigga, like, my Instagram, like, damn, you wasn't even posting bad shit. How you get deleted? I don't even barely post. Like, I, I don't post, post nothing no more. I'm very, I'm very G right I'm now. not playing with my Instagram. I feel like I'm on my last, my last leg on Instagram, so I don't post crazy shit. I'm not playing. I got to get rich as fuck and not have an Instagram. I posted something on my story, and my story got flagged. So ever since then, I've been scared. I was just able to tag you again today. You, see? you feel me? And I'm I've been able to tag in you months. in, like, <laughs> in like at least two months. You <laughs> at least me? two months. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's Instagram crazy. was on my ass, bro. They be on me. Yeah, no, I mean, you know what? We just come from that outlaw era of fucking internet. No. Where you could say whatever you want. When Instagram first came out, you really could do whatever you want. I mean, that's why I'm fucking black so I'm used right to, now. I'm used to the same format. That's why. It's not, you know what it is? It's just like I said, these Gen Z is running shit now. Is that what's going on? Because you got to think, we're millennials, so we're like 30s going up, you know? And then you got Gen Z, which is they're probably hitting from like 20 to 25 now, I would say. They're a little younger mm-hmm. than us. So it's like they're the ones that are starting to run these corporations and all these shits and stuff like that. Are, as far as like the... AC, the, you want to chime in? The entry level. I think you want to chime in, AC? I think you want to chime in. He wants to chime in. He doesn't want to talk on the mic, but he wants to chime in. I feel like the 
generation before us. It was, up yeah, shit. exactly. I feel like it's people older than us doing that, and they're doing that shit. Yeah, I mean, but you know, you got to think like all these companies that we're on right now, Facebook, Instagram, they're all started on by people our age. Like it ain't no but fucking old niggas running Facebook. Like Mark Zuckerberg is thirty five. Fucking uh, the dudes that run Instagram, he owns Instagram too as well. You got fucking. What about the Twitter niggas? Uh, Twitter Jack. I don't know how old Jack is, but I don't think he's Jack that old. Probably forty seven. Let's see how old Jack is from Twitter. He can't be that old. But I, did he start Twitter though? I don't think he started. I think yeah. he did. Yeah, he started. Oh, he did. Are you 43? I said 47. So see? 45. That's, I said Jack at least 47. That's still a millennial. That's still a millennial. He's still in our age bracket. But I think millennial dope. stops at like 50. Is Jack a billionaire off Twitter? Easy. You think so? Easy. For sure. Twitter is a billion dollar, like, it's, it's so crazy because it's a free platform. But Remember so when they powerful. were trying to charge back in the day? They were like, oh, we might do subscriptions, $6, Twitter. That was like, we're not doing that. It's funny because I'm. You said what? He was born in 1980. Oh, they're 1980. So he that is, I think he should be 1980 then, right? Yeah, that should be about 1980, 45. He should be like 82, 1982 or some shit, right? 78. 78. Okay, so he's almost there, but nah. But he was raised in the millennial fucking culture, though. <coughs> yeah, his parents are just a little older. Yeah, we're just, it's, it's just uh smoking joint. Man. I just don't know why everything got so censored. Like, what was the kickoff that starts? Because everything has a kickoff. You know what I'm saying? Like, you even have like okay, like nine eleven. When nine eleven happened, that kicked off extra security in the airports. And bro, all that said, shit. bro said Trump. Trump kicked off kicked mm. off all this extra security and mm. all this censor and shit. Did Trump kick off the? It had because what about the Me Too movement? Because then Trump put like the most money into like our security than any president combined, or some like crazy shit. Internet security, he had like put more money into it or something like that. Some crazy, crazy shit or something. But I'm like, what made? It to where, like, when did people start censoring people on the internet? I know when Trump got in the office, the judge got harder. Because that's, like, the thing with the... I know that. For real? But he wasn't kidding that. It wasn't as prevalent as it is today, though. It's very prevalent. Because it's Twitter and all this shit now. I mean, there wasn't no big platform back in the day to cancel somebody. I feel like Twitter kind of started How would you it. cancel somebody? You have to literally go to their show. Yeah, Twitter. Or you feel me like... I don't feel like canceling is real, per se. I feel like you can get kicked off a fucking platform. Canceling is definitely real. It's been... You can get kicked off a platform. It's all, that's the same thing, like, with the whole thing with the Andrew Tate thing. It's not like that. So you don't think um, Aries Spears and Tiffany Haddish finna, finna get canceled? Do you hear about that? For, for, for that uh, skit? They uh, got... Like I guess they all charges were dropped off that. Yeah. All who charges. the lawyer? Johnny Cochran? <laughs> the the person who filed it against him, she wrote a letter and the whole big letter. I mean, but it don't matter. It's already out though. It's out there, but it's like it's, you know, that's the whole thing about the law. Like you can get accused of something, or if you get proven not guilty or, you know, the accusation to get dropped, you know, like legally or, you know, you still were accused. You, you can get accused of anything. So they know? good now. Mm-hmm. That's fucking. But that's nice. still, but that's still gonna affect her work. You know, just having that. On your that's name. what I'm saying. You don't think that's gonna affect them? That it's just you know, it's always. Gonna, I feel like there's always somebody there to fuck with. That's you. some cancel culture. If it affects your career, nigga, yeah. your shit slow down. You know what it is too. Sponsorships dropping I you. That's cancel. I think it especially is. It, it, it's definitely big if you're in the industry, like if you're in like. The music industry, the movie industry. And when I say that, like, I mean, like, in the industry part, like, when you're signing contracts with these big labels or these big studios, yes, they have the right. They, they can cancel you, you know? But then every you're always going to have your own fan base. Because even, like, you do dudes like Andrew Tate. You got Alex Jones, who's fucking crazy. But they have their cult fan bases. That's why they're still, still online. fuck with them no yeah, matter what. Yeah, they're still, like, they're not on the mainstream social media, which is Twitter, Instagram. But they really don't YouTube. need that because they have their own following. Yeah, because you only need, like, 5,000 core fans to really make, eat off this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, 5,000 core fans spending money steadily in your mentions. You know what I'm saying? Like, to get, I mean, at this point, I feel like these people are doing it, like, for their purpose now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only reason you will even get banned from a social media site because you're just really pressing your issue so bad and it's just going against what, you know, the majority says. You feel me? Is that why you get banned? Because you're t- you're going against the majority? Fuck yeah. Bro, they, they just yes. the definition of extremist, bro. Yes. To I saw that. Somebody whose opinion goes against the majority. I saw majority. that. So if my opinion is left and you right, I'm... I'm, I'm you're an extremist. And that's what I don't feel like. Like the Andrew Tate thing, it has nothing so to do. So I can't think outside the box? 
Look, the Andrew. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. The Andrew Tate thing, it's not a situation of just him being misogynistic. It's a, it's a situation of, situ like, I should be able to say whatever the fuck I want to. And whatever. If, if he was misogynistic, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't like, matter because I could be able to say what I want. That's his fucking right. As a fucking a human being, American fucking person, you can say whatever the fuck you want. Because now we have freedom of speech. Exactly. So, so, but you know, this is this goes back to like, you know, all these futuristic books we used to read back in the day, the 1985, The Giver. Like, you know, society is fucking basically, you know what I'm saying? Like going to that, how do you say it? Total totalitarian? totalitarian society where it's just like you know you won't have like it it yeah fascist society i guess like some some is that what we're going to that too but then again too another thing too a lot of these sites are ran by liberals and that's just what it is too these are liberal sites like celebrities can I'll always with v for Red Dead. That was a yeah ass movie celebrities are always going to be able to go to the liberal situation because they're always going to want what the majority people are, are at. They're going to want, like Diddy was the first person on Twitter. Ashton Kutcher. Voter die. Know, yeah, they're going to always go where all the people are. So these sites are ran by like... How you know Diddy was the first person on Twitter? He was the first one with a million followers, I mean. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm like, like, how the fuck you know That's what I got on Twitter on like 2009. I got on Twitter so late. I got on Twitter 2009 in high school and I never used it and then I used <laughs> it like maybe three years later. I made my first Twitter 2011. I love Twitter. I'm bad and I'm, I'm fucked up. I'm, I'm I had a girlfriend and I was, you know what I'm saying, I was cheating and doing my shit so I couldn't <laughs> be on Twitter. So I waited I was single that I got on that. I'm pissed that I fucking uh that I'm banned from Twitter. I still be on Twitter. Like I'm still looking at my. Don't you hate like why are you? I look. I hate that you get banned and deleted. If I'm gonna get banned, all right, just leave my profile up. Don't let me be able to sign in because I should be able to see my old tweets, my old pictures, my old Instagram posts. Like that's whack, low key. This is what my Twitter says. It's like where my pictures go. You just deleted them off the face of Earth. This is my Twitter. And then I can only. That's your real, real Twitter. That's my real Twitter. That's crazy. And this is how I know it. The only re reason I know what's going on is like I can still see So you see made it. your Twitter in 09 and it's gone. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I'm like, you know what it is? I'm numb now to it because it's like. But at first, how'd you feel? I was pissed. Pissed as fuck. You know what it is? Like still sometimes like I want to like tweet some shit out. I'm like, damn, I don't like have Twitter. Like a new Twitter. I'm thinking about it. But I'm like, fuck it. I don't even give a fuck anymore. Fuck Twitter. Y'all want to keep banning me, bitch ass? Nah, man. that's so crazy. You I'm, made your Twitter in 09, they got you up out of there. I've had like three Twitters. That's how I feel about Insta, though. Why'd y'all take my first Insta? Like, what the fuck was wrong with y'all? Yeah, it's not the same. Once you, like, you don't even post like that no more. It's not the same. Once they take your core, unless you just have, like, a... Unless you're just, like, on a mission to build your shit back up. But, you know, I like, nigga, I don't feel like doing Niggas that Niggas don't shit. be on that, though. Yeah, like, I'm not on that right now. With Instagram, once I got like two strikes, I was over that shit. I was like, I'm not playing with this I'm not shit playing anymore. with them. They might delete my shit in the <laughs> morning. Playing. And I had to make a whole nother Insta. I ain't play with Instagram. And like, I don't want to tell niggas, oh, follow Thank this, you. follow this, and follow that. You feel I me? I haven't played with Insta in like three years. I ain't you can't post nothing on Insta. I'm not playing with you. Can't post with, you can't nigga, post no vape. Wolf, Wolf and Bones both then got uh, tagged, flagged in the last couple of days. And I was like, y'all better quit playing. What they, what they post? Bro, nothing. It's like stupid shit. I told you, Bones was trolling me talking about, uh, you want water? Bones was trolling me talking about fucking uh, sexiest man alive on a comment, and they fucking flagged him for that. And he was like, what the fuck? Like, even he was tripping. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, bro, Instagram is fucked up right now, bro. Like, it's mostly to, to, like, involve other, like, all different types of people. Like, like saying that he's sexiest man alive from a man is like a... Like a is that what it is? Like, like I don't know. I don't, I feel like who reported that? I don't even know. That's weird. Like, why would you report that? It was like an instant report. It wasn't even like somebody reported it. And that's it why like, I, I don't even comment. Like, if I comment on somebody's Instagram, it's one word or it's emoji. I'm scared to say, like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, this, I'm, I'm, I, I might get deleted. Like, there can you might be not want me to curse on Instagram. Now, we're all waiting for there to be a new site. And there can There's be. There's not going to be a new Instagram. Look, let me tell you. The only way it would happen is if all the bitches. We need a site. All, Instagram is only popular because all the bitches on Instagram. Let's just keep it real. Like, niggas on Instagram flexing for the bitches. Hey, hey, look, everybody said... It's just real shit. Yeah, like, that's what it is. Bitches on there. That's true. Instagram yeah. for the bitches. Niggas exactly. don't give a fuck about exactly. Instagram. Like, you be able to fuck because the bitches on there. Yeah, I care because the bitches, like, my, like, gonna comment and say, oh, yeah, this fit is fly, and yeah. they gonna laugh at my story. You, you wanna... You shit. waiting on the girl that you want to, like, you look at your story, the girl you want to, like... you. Didn't, I don't have to have 10,000 likes. I just want the people that I want to like my shit. The people I'm searching for, like my shit, basically. People that's exactly. following. Exactly. People that's looking. Yeah, so there was another site that everybody flocked to that had the bitches. 
I feel like it won't be the same. I feel like Instagram is like the last little. You know, it has to be like a Kylie Jenner or like a Kim Kardashian that started. It has to be these people that are really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it can't just be one rapper. Like, it's always one rapper that try to do it. But no, it has to be the girls. Like, if Kylie Jenner or Kim Kardashian, when they were like, all right, this is the new site. Everybody, we on here now. We ain't on Instagram no more. They not Everybody will flock to that shit. They get paid for Instagram to post. I don't think they, they get paid by Instagram, though. Who do they get paid by then? By different sites, though, like different brands and shit like that. That's old Insta. True. But if they started some new shit, though, because my whole thing is, like, I'm down to fucking start a new social media. I do this shit every This shit ain't shit to me. I I beat the internet years ago. I know how to, I know how to start a fucking... <laughs> I, I was that. waiting for you to look back. This nigga's so ugly. I like... I, nigga I, said he beat the internet, but his Twitter's deleted. Come on, now. I still beat it, though. That's why I don't need Twitter. <laughs> like, what the I don't fuck are need you Twitter about? anymore. I don't need... Like, that's why I haven't made one. You like, do I need Twitter. Twitter. I really don't need Twitter anymore. I don't even need Twitter anymore. <laughs> You need Twitter, bro. I don't need Twitter. It's like it's like when the you... young kids don't even be on Twitter. None of these young artists are on Some Twitter. Some motherfuckers be on Twitter. None of these young artists are on Twitter. Who? Psh, name one. Like none of them. They all have a Twitter. They, just they don't, be don't be on, on that it, shit. But they have it. They don't be on that shit. They have it for posts for their albums. I think the only young artist that I know that I seen one was like Trippy. That in that I know is Lay War. That nigga don't be on that shit. Niggas be on Instagram. Instagram. Uh... It's all about Instagram. Instagram is the site. Even Kanye don't even be on Twitter no more. This nigga be on Instagram now. <laughs> and he was always on Twitter. He's Low key, Twitter's not even that. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not the same. It's not this. You know what it is? In Insta, you know where fucked up Instagram? When they start letting everybody. Martin Zuckerberg. In, that too. But yeah, that was a big one when they sold to Facebook. But it fucked up when you everybody could DM each other. That's what fucked up Instagram. Remember the DM was precious. The DM, like when a bitch, like, remember you had to like pictures to get the follow back, then you had to DM? Oh, yeah, I remember you couldn't DM unless they followed you, huh? Yeah, now everybody can DM. That's what fucked up Instagram. Everybody got access. It used to be that a rare. And fucking face calling, nigga. You could call me on, on my Instagram. Like, why that shit would have been cool if I could do that if I followed you. Why? I don't, you shouldn't be able to DM everybody. That's what fucked up Instagram. Everybody's getting DMs now. It's over. You feel me? It was, when it was like rare, same with Twitter. Remember when Twitter was rare, like when the follow back was rare, when the mention was rare, when the verified check was rare. You couldn't DM people on Twitter either. You had to follow them. You had to be following each other. That's when you was, couldn't message them at all. We made it too accessible. Like that's when it was cool. Like to be a Twitter rapper, you was lit. Actually, with that VIP list everywhere they go now. <laughs> Everybody. On social media, when they go exactly. out, they just want to be VIP. Come on. Like, like, back in the day, you really had to get the follow. Like, you, you couldn't just get the follow. If you didn't follow me, I couldn't even message you. I'm not finna message you because I can't... You know and it's man? like, think about how many people that message you every day that you don't even fucking, like... I don't even know. I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm gonna exactly. delete it. gonna swipe at it. Like, exactly. what the fuck? Like, why are you messaging Exa me? Or, like, think about how easy you give the follow now. Back in the day, the follow was like... It's a day. You have to look at the profile, like... <laughs> or just in who person. Who you following? Or, like, in person, you might just say, yeah, take my Instagram follow. Like, back in the, like back in the day... It wasn't like that. You didn't just you didn't give even. a nigga your follow. Like, and then you tell a nigga your Instagram. You'll kick it around a nigga for months. Nigga can not... follow you. <laughs> mention you. Take, take pictures with you. Still won't follow the nigga back. <laughs> I wouldn't like that. You hang with the nigga. You about to follow me back. Boy, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Dead that, I got you. Yeah, it was. Hey, that never finna follow the nigga back. Never the follow. You fuck with this nigga every weekend. Like, and you knew some niggas went, just kicked it just for the follow. You're right. That follow back was more legendary. <laughs> I follow niggas back for nothing now. Like, I got you. I follow everybody back now. I'll be like, and then sometimes I catch myself. I, sometimes I catch myself following too many motherfuckers. I'll be like, let me unfollow. The ratio mm, matters. How I it do. Depends. It depends. It depends. It matters. Like, I feel like I shouldn't go over a thousand. I'm not trying to go I over a thousand. Like, I feel like. I feel like. I don't ever want to follow four figures. No. No, hell no. no. You see how many rappers be following some of yeah, these people? Back in the day, rappers would just follow six people. Yeah. You'd be like, what the fuck? Why are they only following? <laughs> You'd be mad. Like, why are you only following six people? But you like, respected it back then. You respected it. That shit, bro, that shit was legendary. You respected it. Now it's just like nobody, like, it's just over. Now you follow the weed man back, the nigga that sells <laughs> CMOS. <laughs> and see, back you in the follow with anybody. Hey, back, man. no, like, remember back in the day, a nigga will follow you. <laughs> I just want to get what I want. I got it. See, it's like that though. Like see, that's lucky grimy. Now I think about it, they used to be on that. We were some grimy niggas. Yeah, like think about girls and stuff like that. Like, like now Instagram, at, girls got DMs from a thousand niggas. At first, it was all likes. That's why likes aren't. That is why likes aren't up anymore. Think about it, because now you can talk to motherfuckers and DM and shit like that. You can look at a girl's story and just talk to her in the DM for fucking months. Back in the day, you had to like the picture if you wanted to get noticed. 
You know what I'm you saying? Liking the picture for a fucking month. Our comment. You had to comment or like the picture if you wanted to get noticed. Like, he's probably why? still wouldn't get to follow back. <laughs> he still wouldn't get, but it's a better chance. You know the problem with that? Those follow uh, apps, like the stats, like you can see who you Yeah. Have. Yeah. You know those, those, if you have one connected to your Instagram, you can get your Instagram uh, deleted. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> no, I had one of those. I had one. What is it, the Just Unfollow? I used to be on the Just Unfollow. Hey, when niggas got it on the low. Oh, that's so crazy. I used to just see, I see you unfollow me. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's so crazy. Why well, that shit got me tight? <laughs> yeah, no. Instagram is crazy. When niggas got them on the low. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's crazy. No, nah, you just is unfollow. I'll be trying to see who follow me. If niggas be sneak unfollowing. <laughs> That's another thing, niggas. All this sneak on following and shit. Niggas follow you like thirty pictures and unfollow you. Like, hey, like bro, bro, you weird. Y'all don't see that? I know. Like, I hate when a nigga follow nigga follow you, and then you follow him. Nigga be all cool with you, and then he unfollow you. Like, nigga, like, it's a couple fuck. of rappers, man. I don't want to name some niggas. A couple of niggas. Though. Fuck you, think you want? Like, who you think you is? I don't fuck with you like that for real. You feel me? I wouldn't even hit you back. You that press me, me motherfucker, yeah. for the follow. This internet culture shit crazy. It's just a print. No, so you know, and that's what it is. It's internet culture. It's internet culture. Because it's like. It's not even real. It's not even real, but it's internet culture. Because, like, in the streets, I don't give a fuck. I'm a street nigga. I don't give a fuck about the net. But then, if we're going to do some shit on the net, do it right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That sounded so funny. <laughs> if we're going to do some shit on the net, do if it it's gonna right. If going to be in the net, nigga, <laughs> like, make it a net. What? If, if we're going to do it on the net, nigga, make it right. That sounds crazy, nigga. Because it's like this. Like, yeah, okay, you from the street. Niggas don't give a fuck about the internet. But then at the end of the day, nigga, it's a certain image that we portraying on the internet, nigga. Like, you going to do it on the net, nigga, do it right. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> nigga, it's a certain type it's of... It's principles to the net. It's principles to the net, nigga. It's not real, though. It is kind of real. If I unfollowed you right now, you gonna feel some type of way. My nigga, I'm gonna instantly call you. Like, what the fuck you on? <laughs> <laughs> hey, exactly. Like, how you unfollow? Like, me? what the fuck you on? What's worse, uh, somebody following you on Instagram but not not acknowledging you in real life, or the opposite, or you being close mm. to you in real life and they don't follow you? It's a lot of niggas. niggas I know that. Acknowledge me in real life, nigga. If you follow me on Instagram, but you already know that, that that's just some shit because you can but follow niggas somebody. that see you in real life and be like. It's just people, you got to be bold. They won't even say nothing to you. Because a lot of people don't have that bravery to just talk. I'm saying something. What's the deal? I talk to all my followers. And I tell all my followers. I mean, like, people I follow, and I'm like, yeah, I watch all your shit. I watch people on my story. I do. I'm swiping. I'm not, like, I'm not doing that much where I can. You're hitting random bitches. I don't even know. Like, that look good. Hell yeah. I'm on that. Been following you for six months. I don't know who you are, though, but that shit looks good. Exactly. I'm very interactive with bitches I follow. Exactly. For real. I be at all the Reddit bitches. Yeah. What's that? Pasta? Oh, for sure. Bet. You got to build that repertoire. That rapport. But you know I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm yeah. not I'm not just following. I'm, I'm not just fo- I'm not one of them niggas that's yeah, too I'm cool. Not, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I'm Come glad on. we have that in Come common. On. Cause I hate them too. I'm gonna cool. let you know I'm in here. I be, cause you know you'll follow some nigga, they be too cool. They don't watch like, no nigga, story. Watch no story. You don't wanna like my shit, nigga. <laughs> you ain't like, hit me up, nigga. You see me smoking. Exactly. Is, the music not banging, nigga. You not fuck with they this don't shit. Say shit. Weird ass. I'm nigga. like, you ain't that fucking cool. Like, bitch, you be on Instagram. I don't fuck with too cool niggas. Said, niggas yeah, be no. too cool. I'm I'm definitely interested. Instagram, right? niggas be on Instagram more than anything. Yes, why not? It's just one of the best sites. Rolling loud. New York. Why you like, why you said to me like I was there? I was rolling loud. I mean, loud, no, New I'm York. just this nigga said rolling up, New rolling York. Rolling loud, New York. We were looking at the there. sign together. I was looking at the first thing on top. What does that say? Oh, coolio. Oh, okay. Rest in peace to Coolio. We'll start off that. Start off like that. Rest in peace to Coolio. We just got news of his passing a couple hours ago. Rest in peace, Coolio. He had the uh, legendary 50, intro to Kenan and Kale. Fifty nine years oh, old. Gangsta oh, Paradise. Here we go. Mm-mm-mm. Keep living most of our lives. I mean, everybody know that, but I'm talking about the Kenan and Kale shit. You know what I'm saying. You don't even know the song for real. As I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I'm looking. You know, every time I hear a gangster's paradise, I think a weird Al Yankovic version. Oh yeah, uh, the Amish. Yeah, I don't know why, bro. I can't even think of Coolio's I mean, version, bro. They're both epic songs. Weird Al's a. <laughs> it's just a banger for real. That put me on the weird Weird Al when I was young. <laughs> I don't even know how I seen that dude. He was 59. He, yeah. he was kind of young. That's pretty young. That's pretty young. Do we know how he died? Uh, I think they're saying cardiac arrest. So we don't know, but, you know, they'll have it. We don't want to make any... Rest in peace, cool, young man. Rest we ain't, cool, I'm saying, we ain't make no assumptions or nothing. Uh, so, Rolling Loud, New York. 
I was rolling loud. Rolling loud was regular, you know, same another day at the office. I was cool. But but how was the crowd in New York? The crowd was dope. The crowd was dope. I was fucking with y'all. Yeah, like I said, another day at the office. There wasn't, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't no, no crazy shit or nothing, B. Nah, nah, it was cool. But I got to meet one of my favorite rappers. Who? Big Soldier. <laughs> yes, sir. I met Big Soldier. You didn't meet Big Soldier. I met Where the Big picture Soldier. at? I didn't get the picture. You ain't meet Big I Soldier. The, I, can't, I, can't, I don't I can't know. Get the picture. I don't know if you met Big I Soldier get though. I couldn't get. The picture. I'm getting the picture with Big Soldier. You know what's crazy? I'd have been. I'd have been around him a million times. You know what it was? It was like he was getting off stage, which people were buying. Too know, much going on. It was too much going on. Morgan, you know her ass. She got his ass. She got the picture? Nah, she didn't get him. But she, what's up? Talking to him and shit. I just tapped it up. What's up, Barrow? Kids and shit. Like, good looking, my nigga. Chopped it up a little bit. Manager. Yeah, you've been doing too much. You asked for the pick. Yeah, you, you know, we had to be rappers said, still. You already said you killed it and shit. And I just had did the performance before him. His manager had just tapped in with me. He fucked with me and Wolf's performance. And he was like, yeah, take my info. Take my Instagram. Let's, let's exchange. So, like, manager. I mean, y'all go meet each other, obviously. So, it's yeah, like, yeah. I fuck with Big Soldier. Like, yeah. I didn't want to be Why all... you keep calling him Big Soldier, nigga? That's Soldier Boy. <laughs> fuck wrong with you. I fuck with Big Draco. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that is Soldier Boy. What's up with you? No, but uh, yeah, no, it it was a cool. I met Soldier Boy. I feel like that was a highlight. You know what I'm saying? He performed bangers. Bangers. He didn't do his hand with the lean. He didn't do his hand with the lean. What do you do? Uh, let me get him shoot out. Let me. Get, he did just like a lot of classics. I don't remember everything. I was so loaded, but if you said the songs, he probably did it. He did Gucci Bandana, which was Gucci. <laughs> Gucci that versus. <laughs> You know, you Gucci forget can. how legendary artists these artists are. I would want to hear Gucci wins. That boy could fly. That boy could fly. Gucci wins. Gucci wins. Soldier Boy and Lil B, don't do that. Don't Gucci do win. that to me. Man, I gotta listen. That boy could fly. Pretty Boy Millionaires, don't do that to me. I would know Pretty Boy Millionaires too by don't heart. I don't know. Do, you don't know Gucci Wings? I, I feel like Oh, I my God. Don't do that. That's a banger. I love that. You always got those little bangers. I used that, to be tripping like, off that. The album cut. Used to be off of on that Gucci Wings. Mm -hmm. That Gucci Wings. That he said them album cuts. Like, niggas, that's on the tape. There ain't no outro that, on that, that, that tape was before his time, low key. Mm. Yes. Because, I mean, it probably couldn't come out now. Oh, no, no. You right? Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It couldn't come out now. It wouldn't be hot right now. I, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas would be like, what the fuck? It wouldn't be hot because of Lil B or Soldier Boy. B. I feel like Soldier Boy could still do it. Soldier Boy could still rap of time right now. Soldier Boy's hard to be. I love Soldier Boy. Nigga, it's, it's Even though I love Lil B too. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love Lil B. But Soldier Boy is just like. Nigga, I used to fuck with Lil B too. Nigga, what you mean? We need, we need another Lil B show. I haven't seen Lil B before. I used to man. put Lil B on the homies look at me crazy. Like, what the fuck? Like, what you mean, nigga? A little B changed my life. Tiny shirt, tiny T. Tiny shirt, tiny jeans. Pretty bitch. Shout out little B. Bass God. Bass God. Would you get a feature with little B? I have a song with little B. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Where's it at? So the email. Mm -hmm. This nigga be lying about mm -hmm. the most fucking unreleased songs that are never coming out. Like, nigga, shut the fuck up. <laughs> It's an email. Like, nigga, the, anybody got a feature with anybody like that would have been dropped in, like, the same week type shit. Like, what do you know? <coughs> would have paid for a nigga to mix it and all type of shit. It's too rare, man. Whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. It's too rare. I gotta get it cleared from the label. Basically, base World Records. Waiting to get it cleared. Hey, so you hear this, man? <laughs> it's your boy. It's the biggest bullshitter on the mic I know right now. <laughs> for sure. Man. Nah, but I'm about to get one. <coughs> Me and Lil B to talk about it though. That's real. Definitely talk a little B. For sure. <laughs> That's real. Why you keep saying it? I'm just saying. I mean, why why you repeating look. it, nigga? If it's real, it's real. You feel me? That's what it is. Shout out Brandon, man. You been watching Jeffrey Dahmer? Bro, why the fuck did I have to go through like fucking 10 episodes of fucking Netflix? It's only 10 episodes. Exactly. 10 fucking straight hours of Netflix and chill on the couch. But more Netflix and the chill. But it's a good, it's a good little documentary. Though. It was very good. It was very, it's very good. crazy, though, I'm not gonna lie. I've been new about Jeffrey Dahmer. Like I knew about him, you feel me? I read the I read I've the little shit movies, about him, but the, I, I've never seen no movie about him. There's been a lot of movies. The dude that played Hawkeye, he played Jeffrey Dahmer first one. I never seen none of his movies. I remember when I was like maybe like nine years old watching the documentary. Remember they had those little documentary shows? And yeah. I remember like just seeing it, him. You know the the him being a homosexual taking a gay black man, I I remember all that like it was very yeah. But Netflix did that shit with that because I did that shit. The actor was great. 
I was like, hold on. This nigga was crazy as hell. You was insane. It's the, it's the crazy how much shit you can get away with when you're white. Bro, back then in Milwaukee, what the fuck was they on? You can just get away with so much fucking murder shit. Bro, this, a this nigga, nigga, was, nigga Niggas go to jail. Niggas <laughs> kill nigga one motherfucker and go to jail for life. Why was I saying that when I was watching? I was like, this was me. I killed one motherfucker. They would have got me the same night. Like, why your apartment smell like that? What the fuck? Is that like a thing? White people smell got a crazy smell. It is. No, it I feel like no one gave a fuck because he lived in the projects hey, around black people when he was a white dude. No one gave a fuck about no, that. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> <laughs> nah, I just felt like no one gave a fuck about him, bro. Like he was just, I don't know. They didn't they they didn't think he was on shit. And he'll just be like, oh yeah. They'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> he said he didn't like, think okay. he was on shit. He'd be like, hey, no, nah, no. Nah. The cops be like, what are you doing? He'd be like, shit, gay stuff. And they'll just leave that nigga alone. Like, what the fuck? And this fuck? is like 90s too. Those are like real. No, like, 80s. This is 80s. So they're not even fucking with no gay shit back then. Like, they're not. Bro, that's all he kept saying. Like, they wasn't fucking with him. Like, it's crazy. Did the 80s, the 80s, the 80s, fuck yeah, it was in the 80s. I don't know. Yeah, was it? What? It was a blue up in the 80s, nigga. What Bro, the fuck? He would just say stuff like that and they'd just leave him alone. This nigga was riding with a body in the car. Like, what the fuck, bro? The trash bags. And he was drunk driving. I know, because I was thinking about it. They were like, you're it. only 18. You got your whole life ahead of you. Just go home. If that was me. I was thinking about it. Like, <laughs> you got to be a crazy motherfucker to be a serial killer. Like, you got to be, like, on some fucking, like. But it's, his mom and his dad was on some crazy shit. You said what? Act normal. But it's like, think about yeah, it. When you're a sure. serial killer, it is normal for you to kill people. Like, that's the crazy thing about it. Like, how are you supposed to act? Like, that's... Because you're a serial killer, yeah. Yeah, like, that shit, like, Ted Bundy, the John Wayne Gacy, like, the... He was crazy John, as fuck, too. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, okay. like they... That's the thing. They These were average dudes, but they just happened... <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what, what happened? He let that slide right there. What? <laughs> he said, OJ. That's what I'm saying. OJ, I mean, shit. Oh, first of all, OJ's not a serial. OJ's not a serial killer, motherfucker. He's not a serial killer. He was accused of murder. One person murdering two, one. Pe two people. Was it two? The wife. Oh and yeah, the, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's a murder. A serial killer is a nigga that's killing. I think, gotta, I think you got to kill more than four people to be a serial killer. That's and, some crazy. And shit. a serial killer is different because you're not killing like for like war or like a gang. Or you like, just out here killing shit. You're just killing shit. That's why they don't get their mind. They don't. I ain't gonna lie. I, I've never been into serial killers like that. But after watching that movie, I've been watching hella shit on YouTube, <laughs> nigga. Like, what yeah. the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just, I don't know. After I watch that, I'm, I'm I'm done with that. I'm I don't want to see no more of that. Shit. I'm ready to watch some positive. You shit know now. what? It's just like kind of. <laughs> I'm cool on the evil shit right I now. I feel like it just makes you think like. Why would a motherfucker? That shit scared me. I was like, damn, if I was born out there during that time, nigga could have ate some one of us. First of all, I would have been fucked up. Nigga, I would have beat the shit out of Jeffrey. Nigga, I would have hit you in the head. I would have beat the shit out of Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, I would have shit. As soon as I would have felt woozy, like, you motherfucker. Like, you want to smoke a blunt? Like, oh, you got some loud? Come on, let's go. Got you right in the back of the head. Niggas wouldn't even know. Like, you trying to smoke some dope? Like, oh, yeah, you got some loud. He said that. The crazy thing is when he... <laughs> he would have niggas lacking. <laughs> niggas was lacking. With niggas would have thought he was cool as fuck. I had some loud, like, trying to blow. Like, we got some, got some gas. <laughs> like, yeah, you got some gas for sure. <laughs> Where you living? Over here? All right, for sure. I'm going to pull up. I, <laughs> That's what it was. Got some loud. Like, you, bro, I'm telling you, he was tricking niggas. Like, niggas be like, yeah, for sure. I'm pulling up then. Let's go. Up. I got weed and beer. Trick <laughs> like, <laughs> Niggas would pull up and smell that apartment. Be like, like, hold on. It was like... That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, black people, we start smelling some shit. I'm ready. We, <laughs> we start smelling some crazy. I'm, like, hold on. I'm like, you see the neighbor, she was tripping. She was like, hold on. She shit. was calling like every she day. Was like, shit is stanky. And this nigga was cooking hard in the house. Like, what the fuck was going like, on? Like, think about it. A motherfucker was really chopping up a human fucking in body. In the grandma house. And like what three, was he? three different houses. How did grandma not know what he was on? The grandma knew. Well, they, remember he killed the first dude at his parents' house. He killed the first guy at his parents' house, the little hitchhiker. Oh, yeah, that, that was at the mom house, not parents. Yeah, the mom mama house. house. Yeah, the and mom the, house. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I've never lived in a situation like that, I guess. Like, when you live with somebody, do you go into their room? What you mean, you go into the room? Like, do you go, like, to your, like, when you're growing up, do you go into your, like, brother or sister's room growing up to see what the fuck? You don't go into their fucking room. You don't go to your sister's room or your brother's room growing up. For what? Exactly. Like, why would you go into their room? So it's like, 
he's living with his grandma and his mom. Like they're not just going in their room, like seeing, you know what I'm saying? Like they're leaving him. You see, you see the people you live with, like at the kitchen table or like at the grandma living room. in the room though and seen that mannequin in the bed though. Okay. Remember? Okay. okay. Yeah. And he tweaked out like, this motherfucking mannequin. That's what I'm trying to, <laughs> it's like, hold on, Jeff. She wasn't going in the basement. That's what it was. Because she was too old. She would have fell on the stairs. And, That's crazy. And remixed herself. She would have been down there for a month. Nigga, like, it's just crazy to think like that. he what, knew she couldn't get down there. It's crazy just to make you think like, what makes a man want to eat another man? He was just saying that he liked the people. Like they were attracted to him. Nigga, his mom was on 26 pills a day. Do you think it was racially motivated? This nigga was targeting black... I don't homosexuals. Yes, it was racially motivated. I, I saw what he was saying in the what he was saying. I feel like personally, I don't think it was like racially motivated. I don't think he did it because he hated black people. How he was talking about I'm not it. saying he hated him. I'm just saying he was targeting him. Though. He said that he was sexually attracted. He said that he would go to the club and whoever he found the most sexually attractive. So obviously he was attracted to gay black men. You know what I'm saying? It's not. This is the thing about serial killers. They're not killing you because they hate you. They're killing you because they just have an impulse to kill. It's like sex to them. Like he's killing the dudes. He he's drugging them, strangling them so they die, cutting off their cutting up their body and having sex with the body, <laughs> and then eating the body. What the fuck? Yeah, that's the that's what I'm trying to say. Like a serial killer is not doing it because he. He doesn't hate you. He no just... people tripping on here, but that, that, that scared me right there. He doesn't hate you. He I loves. Like, how the fuck is this dude doing all this? Like, yeah, it's, it's love. It's like they love the the person so much they have to. It's like an obsessive obsession. Like you have to have that person. He was eating the hearts, bro. That was the crazy part. That nigga, what, that nigga had. Remember the death episode no, was crazy. The, remember the, the nigga guy? dad asked for the box. Like, give me the box. He's yeah. like, I lost the key. And then he goes. Nigga had a head, head in the box. In the I box, said, hey, bro, the closet. What the fuck? I was like, this nigga was tripping. Like, I heard that was all real. That's all real. He really had the head. He was hiding body parts. All that. They didn't smell that. That's the thing. They smelt it. That's what's so fucked up about it. Like they smelt it. Like everybody was smelling this shit. But I'm like, I can't even imagine. These niggas was living with a serial killer. Like, I, can, I couldn't imagine. Body and shit. Nigga, the grandma came downstairs, a black nigga from the OD on the couch. She's like, I'm sitting down here with him, Jeffrey. I'm not leaving him. I couldn't even I'm imagine like a. Uh, you said, what the fuck? I couldn't imagine a dead body. <laughs> he was I can't imagine a dead body decomposing in the house for months. Bro, he didn't give a fuck. He was smelling and living with that Wait, shit. Wait, then he. He had two 14-year-old victims. That was fucked up. Nigga, they were brothers. No, but he killed... Wait, he killed both of them? No, he only killed the, the no, other but one. He, he had another victim, though. He, he his, killed another 14-year-old boy, His though. brother. He killed that boy. The and the other one got away. The first yeah, one got away, and but, then, he, then he doubled back on his brother and killed the brother. Yeah, but I was looking at the end of it. He had another kid that was 14, like a huh? random kid. What? Wait, did you know what he did to the kid? He drilled a hole in his head and put acid, acid. in his head so he can. So he, he thought he was going to have a sex zombie. He thought it wouldn't kill him. It would just leave him brainless. Bro. That's why he left him at the house because he thought the dude was just... He drilled a hole in a 14-year-old kid's head. Evil. Like, it's just some real evil that's motherfuckers evil out there. You, but it's not evil to him. You know yeah, to him. He thinks that he's doing something like, like... No, he knew it was bad. He said that he knew it was bad. It was wrong, but... It was just an impulse that he couldn't control. I think the question with serial killers is, like, not why they kill. It's, like, why don't they have the control that we do? Like, what is the control that all humans have? Like, what what is the one thing they're missing? I mean, I know they're, they're missing a fucking screw. But, you know what I'm saying? I was going to say they lights not all the way fucking on. That's why. But, like, I mean, obviously, it like, it's something that all of us got that they don't got. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, the question. Uh, like, one thing in your DNA well, first of all, these motherfuckers are smart. They ain't that fucking crazy. I like, was just finna say, like chopping up the body these niggas and hiding be smart it. Smart because they be getting away with it for so long. Yeah, it's not like they oh. just do one body and get caught. He got these away with it for be, fourteen years. Like that is crazy. Nigga caught for, a body at eighteen, seventeen bodies in fourteen years. Didn't, two bodies a year. Didn't catch a body until until nine years later, and then went noodles. That's two bodies a year. Went noodles. Yeah, because most of them are, like, gay. Not all of them, but, like, Serial he, killers? He was gay. John Wayne Gacy, gay. I don't know if Ted Bunny was he gay. No, Ted Bunny had hoes. 
He was fucking. Yeah, he was fucking buddy, yeah, was some crazy. I shit. know that John Wayne Gacy and John and uh, they put a clip at the end Jeffrey with the John Dunn. Wayne Gacy shit. I was tripping. I said, "Oh, that's what he was on." Yeah, in the clown suit. Yeah. I said, "Oh, Jesus, bro!" He was like, he had the pre- he had the uh, picture with the president's wife, like Ooh. John Wayne Gacy. He was like a big guy in the community. In Chicago? Wherever, I think it was Wisconsin or some shit. I think it's from Chicago. I think it's from Chicago. Not. <clears throat> it happened in Milwaukee though. John Wayne Gacy? You sure? Yeah. Or that's in Chicago. I think I think it happened in Milwaukee. It didn't happen. It happens in the mid. You said where? It happens in the middle of America. You said where? Milwaukee. You said Milwaukee. Yeah, Milwaukee. <laughs> that's why I said Milwaukee. Where? It happened in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. <laughs> Milwaukee. <laughs> but all that shit, like that shit. I mean, we had Richard Ramirez out here. Yeah, he was in San Francisco, right? The Night Stalker? I thought he was in L.A. He was in San Francisco, then came to L.A. or something like that. Was he killing shit in L.A. or killing shit in San Francisco? Both. Really? What you mean, really, nigga? I wonder why we had, like, a decrease. I mean, I heard that serial killers are a, uh, it is like a a, a reflection of the time. Yeah, I told you John Wayne Gacy was in Chicago going crazy. Damn. I told you he was in Wisconsin. He was in Illinois fucking shit. Man, I'm telling you, bro. I seen Chicago. I was like, what what are you doing out there? (laughs) He had like 33 bodies. I said 33 bodies. It's like, whoa. That's more than fucking uh, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff only had 17. What you mean only? Like, nigga, that's only had still a lot. That's a though. lot, nigga. Like, what the and fuck? And all these bodies are boys. All young boys. They were luring your boys. Was John Wayne Gacy after? It was before. He was before? He got caught before Jeffrey Dahmer. But he stayed in jail like 17 years. So the whole time Jeffrey Dahmer was doing it, he was in jail. And then he got, in the day Jeffrey Dahmer got baptized, you know, he got... Body. Like, yeah, he got killed. But he was on death row for, like, 14 years. Because they don't just kill you when you're a serial killer, because it's like they're trying to see, like, what made this motherfucker kill all I feel like humans are just trying to, like, find out, like, what made this motherfucker do this shit. Yeah, they had like, to get Jeffrey Dahmer out of there. They couldn't let him leave in jail. Oh, they man. had to get him out of there. That dude got him. They seen that scene when he when he did that shit, and he said, my fans like it. I said, hey, what the fuck? That guy was a fuck like this. He said, yeah, I'm about to kill this nigga. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't rocking with that. I'm what do you get... think about that? You think that's like a... He had, I guess he got what he got. What he had coming to him. I want him to get body in jail. I'm like, he got he to gotta die. Some of these niggas don't deserve to live in jail. You got to get True. killed. Man. You got to go to hell already. You can't You can't deserve from you all. You got to go to hell already. The guy, it was so crazy just to do was like, I'm the vessel. He's like, my God is the big God of vengeance. So I was like, damn. I'm like, what if he was? I felt like, what if God really told him that shit? Like, he's crazy. That's some crazy shit. <laughs> this he was crazy. like, I know. Because, I mean, God will do some shit like that. Like, he'll save you. Like, he saved his soul. Like, your soul is saved. But the flesh, boom, nigga. Like, right when he got baptized, he got murdered. That's some crazy shit. So that's real. I mean, think about it. when you get baptized, you give your soul to God. So it's no, like, I'm saying that this whole scene is real. Dude. That's all real. That dude, that all that shit happened. Yeah, that dude really killed a dude, Jeffrey Dahmer and the other guy. And all that shit, he said all that shit. I, I saw the video after he was singing in court. Yeah, he felt like he did nothing wrong. He felt like God really told him to do that shit. He probably already had life or some crazy yeah. shit. Yeah, he already had, he already was fighting a murder. He had schizophrenia and shit like that. But I feel like that's just some crazy, that's a crazy coincidence that you get baptized after being this crazy fucking serial killer. But it's like, after that, like, what else is your purpose? Like, there's nothing else for, there was nothing else for Jeffrey Dahmer to do on this earth. Why they even let that nigga get baptized? I'm like, you ain't getting Anybody can get baptized. You ain't letting you get baptized in here, you dog. Get, you can get baptized, you gotta get forgiven. God can forgive you. I would have said that nigga in my damn cell. <laughs> God can, that's, <laughs> you know, I said that my damn cell. He that's can't the get thing. baptized, man. God can forgive you, so God forgave him. But it's like, even though God forgive you, that don't mean he ain't going to punish you for what you did, which was some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just got his ass. Like, he he let him save his soul. He saved his soul, but the flesh. He didn't need to be. keep saying the flesh. Because I'm like, he didn't need to be like, what would, what would Jeffrey Dahmer be doing if he was alive still? Besides being a fucking science experiment, them trying to pick his brain. You know what I'm saying? Like. Nah, shit. There's nothing. So saying, he'll just be a fucking sick he bastard. He had to go alive. to hell already. Like, he had to get out of here. Like, that shit's crazy. It's wild. This is a whole. You watch that shit 10 hours with some grill, huh? Man, 10 hours of, of Netflixing. I'd have been over there. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not for the Netflix shit for 10 hours. <laughs> I'm be like, look. Um, I was like, we finna watch all this? Knee was fucked up. You know, we got the low couches. Knee fucked up. Knee about to fall the fuck off. Nigga feeling Knee old as hell off. in that motherfucker. I'm you hot. probably falling asleep, hot as hell, oh, sweating. Oh, man. It was crazy. All right. Not in there. I'm like, I ain't smoking no more. Here, we got to go. Man, I was over it. Were you drinking? I didn't even drink. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm... 
And I got caught like kind of off guard too. So it was like you wasn't even prepared for the no, moment. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was not prepared. Shout out to old girl though. This nigga said shout out to old girl. But uh, <clears throat> what's our next topic today? The baby and Meg. Oh, the baby Meg. This. What did you think about that? I didn't like that. What you mean you didn't like it? Why are you talking so much? I didn't really care for it. I didn't. I you know care. what I'm saying? Why are you talking it's, so it's much? Whatever. You think it's real though? You think the baby really fucked? Yes, I think the baby really fucked. Yeah, you think it? Why you gotta lie? Nigga, I'm just asking the homies. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm I asking like, the homies. I feel like he hit, for sure. They just want him to hit. I don't want him to. I feel like he didn't have to say that he hit. I feel like it would have been more play. I fuck with the baby. Like, I fuck with the baby. Nigga said, I'm going crazy on my album. Fuck that. I fuck with the baby, but I'm like, that, yeah, that's what it was, son. It's an album. That's the album. I didn't like that. Because I feel like the baby too G for that. He said, fuck it, I'm dropping this right here. I'm telling niggas I hit and the album out. Nigga, we finna make these plays go up and these views. He got you. The baby got you. Like, whether wow. he hit or not, whether he hit or not, like, it, it's not a big deal. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like he's just too G. He feels like he got played because his, his the, the set that he did in Miami that he got canceled for. Yeah. He also brought out both Meg and Tori when Tori had, when she had a restraining order on Tori. They were neither of them were on the bill. They came out special guests for the baby, yeah. who signed to Interscope, which is Tory Lane's old record label that he got away with his mastering from. He got used for that. Okay, so what? He felt he felt like he had to he had to say his piece. He was also on that song, that other song with Tory, where they did the. the like, I just feel like you don't gotta publicly put that you fucking made the stallion. Was it a banger though? I didn't even hear the song. I, I saw just, the video the other day. I just day. seen the, the um, boogeyman. I just little, seen the little YouTube. captions of it. I saw the I saw the video. I mean, it's, it's whatever. It's like it's, it's a not, banger. It was more about what, it was more about the distance. Oh, yeah, sure. it was more about the diss. I don't feel like he made it to me like a banger. Like, the video is hard. The video is hard though. Letting y'all niggas know, fuck. That's what, <laughs> 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 but then she responded right after on stage. They said what? She was like, "I just want to let you know, I do whatever I want with my body. I fuck whoever I want with my body." And you know, some real woman. Why are you necking your neck like that? You know, she did it like that on stage. She had all the girls. I do it. This, I just want to let y'all know this is my body. I do whatever I want. Whatever. Whatever I want. Uh, what's, what's, her, what's, what's her nigga she with? Party. What are you probably in the background like? Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. He said the fuck. Oh, that's not <laughs> last. That's not lasting. Um, hey, hey, you can bet. He said the fuck. Hey, you can bet that's probably about to get. He was hot. Like, hold on, you ain't say nothing about that. Yeah, cause remember he was about to fight the baby mm -hmm. on fucking Twitter about his bitch. Like, nigga, the nigga, nigga don't know. I got this bomb on him. Like, nigga, I fucked your bitch. I got this bomb to drop on your ass. I'm not even gonna do that to you yet. <laughs> that album coming the album. out. <laughs> that album coming out. I gotta wait for this. I gotta wait for this. Like right. that. My baby was quiet. Baby was quiet for like I, that was, might have been like hey, a year ago. Why can't you try to take my lighter? I'm light my. I'm not, I'm not feeling you right now. Was that like a year ago when that happened? 2020, that happened 2020. The argument. The no. argument. Or the situation. Wait, wait, wait. So this nigga took two two years later. He said that he fucked. Nigga, the album drop. I don't give a fuck. When I how long I said you know I fucked. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like I said, the baby, he, I fuck with the baby. Like, that's not a, that's not an L for Meg for fucking the baby. Like, he's fucking rich as hell. I forgot that in that song. Who says it's going to be an L? Nigga, niggas, do the, niggas can fuck who the fuck they want. Yeah, that's, not, that's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't feel like nobody loses. Like, I just feel like the baby's too much of a G. The baby's a dope rapper. Real street nigga. Real killer. You, know if you fucked me, you'd be on the same shit. I would not be You'd be in the booth the same night hell trying to throw that. some crazy shit in there talking mm -hmm. about your head. Mm -hmm. Baby. Like his this nigga said, back. <laughs> this nigga niggas said, love bitching in that shit. The baby, baby, niggas love bitching in that. Niggas would be in the blue. Niggas Uzi didn't take my bitch. Booth. You said what? Well, Uzi didn't take my bitch. Yeah, what you doing? Like, you can't never let the joke be a joke. You gotta always throw it out. Y'all love shit. saying that. I didn't say nothing. Y'all love laughing about that. Who? Y'all. I didn't say. Nah, I'm here for the break down this tree. <laughs> <and the> smoke <laughs> boy. I didn't say nothing. You gotta love Uzi. You got AC over there talking about you. Anyways. <laughs> Yo, heartbroken. Nigga said. <laughs> Why am I heartbroken? Nigga said, stop. I'm just talking. Baby, baby. Hmm? What happened to my bitch, too? What happened to your bitch, too? What happened to who, bitch? Everybody, saying, bitch, forgot for Boy, not Eddie Baker. Y'all better. What you mean? Y'all better come. She not skedaddle on the stretch? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. If she came back to my shit, boy, I'm here. Oh. Yes, quit Is she not in the street? I told nigga? her she could. Bro, I told her. Yes. And let's not even go yeah. there. Hey. Let, you can go. Let's not even go I there. I was like, I don't, that don't even sound right. Man, I'm so Let your like, bitch go with Uzi in the stretch. First of all, let me in tell you. In the stretch limo? The whole thing was. Let me we tell, in Vegas? Let's put this story out there. Let me put this story hey, out there. Hey, we in Vegas? Stretch First limo? of all, I let my girlfriend. We didn't even have to put it the out time. there. Baker fucking said the name. This is content. This is content. Y'all know, we need content. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, like, this come on now, bro. This is you content. Gotta this, this is content. You got to do all this, man. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody just taking hey, your bitch now? Hey, who take none of these negatives? I've never got my bitch taken. I mean, my bad. My bad. Ever. <laughs> my bad. I mean, everybody hitting your bitch up. Who? Because I got bad bitches. When you date bad bitches, niggas going to hit your bitch up. You know, lifestyle of the rich and famous. It'd be like that, man. You I'm press. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> hot nigga, yo. Yeah, man. You know how this shit go. Industry, man. Every other city we go. Every other radio. I, no matter where I go, I see the same ho. That's that industry shit, man. Y'all know, y'all know how they see young boy and... What, what, what the fuck is that right now? <laughs> with all these rappers, who young boys beefing with over a bitch? Nobody. No cap and little baby are beefing over a bitch. Don't say too much. I need that little baby feature, man. Calm down, man. He said too much. No, nah, he said rumor. Allegedly, it's allegedly, huh? No, nah, it's not even allegedly on this show. We ain't doing that. I need my baby feature. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't even say that. Cut that up. We fuck with four PM. I'm low key for PF, low key. Mm-hmm. I'm low key for PF. We'll sign the for PF for sure. No, I'm not gonna sign. He's doing too much now. I'm signing for PF. He's signing Rollo. He's signing Rollo and Doug. They're going up. I'm signing. I'm just saying for PF. For PF? Yeah, it's for PF HBC. I didn't even know. Shit. I'm so like, I'll let, like I said, what the whole situation was. You I already know you're finna sign to anybody. Nigga, I'll feel the chain. I'm and, and, and a couple of little hundred thousand. You out of there. I would never sign. They're gonna pop up like, y'all saw the chains on the way. King, <laughs> like, king, nigga, of, what? The, king of the underground. But, uh, Nigga, my girl at the time, she, she you brought you her three friends. Yeah, why you because I just wanna tell you what happened. She brought her three friends, or her two friends. One of her friends is fucking annoying. Like, they had like this little fucking beef with each other, like this little fucking trying to out. Sexify, outdo each other. So her friend was like, Oh my God, can your boyfriend let me meet Lil Uzi? So I'm like, Shit, like, yeah, I can let you meet Lil Uzi. That ain't shit. I didn't fucking have no way of fucking meeting Lil Uzi at the time. So we fucking, we, <laughs> but you know me, I'm flexing like, Lil Uzi ain't nothing, Lil Uzi. So, <laughs> cause my girl over here p- telling her friend, like, Yeah, my, we got backstage. Remember when we saw Juice World and all that shit? Yeah. So we was Nigga, lit. We was that day and night. Yeah, Vegas, I had performed with Wolf, so. Long story short, we're Morgan just fucking being turnt who she is. She we do we see the little Uzi show, and Morgan I just some, Morgan is, <laughs> she somehow gets us fucking backstage and little Uzi right there and shit. She's talking a little Uzi and shit like that. So fucking my girl's friend is like, oh my god, she's fucking scared and shit like that. Talk a little Uzi. So I'm like, man, go take her. Go. I tell my girl like, go over there. I'll go talk to little Uzi. And they don't give a fuck. I ain't like, telling my bitch to talk to little Uzi. My, I'm so Uzi comfortable. Man. I'm Edward fucking Baker. Damn man, my bitch like, can go. Talk to Uzi right now. My bitch can go talk to Drake. Yeah, Uzi look. I ain't scared. Hey, Uzi. <laughs> hey, I'm the bait. Hey, nigga. Uzi look busy over there. Let's just let's go over this way. Do our thing. Who's gonna look busy over there, babe? Like, hey, no, the here. funny thing too. Remember, I had sprained my ankle too. I oh fucked my, my ankle up, God. so that's why it looked so bad. This nigga was limping around day. Cause and I'm night. trying to tell my girl. I'm he about to tell even her like walk, nigga. He like I'm finna. I'm trying to tell my girl. That's why everybody be was like, off Molly. We were the baby, loaded. baby, baby. Cause I'm trying to tell my girl like, baby, just call me when you get there. Like it's so much shit going on. It's a bunch of it's like ten bitches getting in the fucking uh, the fucking. SUV. It was like S- It was like two S- two black SUVs, and it was so funny. One of my old bitches was getting in, and she saw my bitch getting in, and she saw me like saying, "Baby, baby." My bitch was talking to her friend. My bitch said, "Yo, bitch, gone." Close the door on me. <laughs> Yo, bitch, gone. She said, Yo, bitch, gone. Boom. Close the door on me. I just started laughing, like, cause it looked it looked very funny. It was very funny. Like I'm limping. My bitch is going in the shit. I'm I'm you know me. I love movies. It was like a movie situation. Said, Yo, like, bitch, I, gone. She said, "Yo, bitch, gone." Close it. They left. Look at death row. 
My bitch yeah, came back. Little Uzi didn't even want to kick with none of them bitches. Like, he literally kicked all the bitches out the whole time. You were so happy, like, yeah. They didn't even make it to the fucking top floor. All those bitches got booted. So you booted. had fun? Or you kicked you out? Yeah. All those bitches got <laughs> booted. <laughs> yeah, in the lobby. They all got left in the lobby. Like, not one bitch. Uzi had 16 hoes upstairs already. I thought <laughs> like, it was up there. Exactly. Like, I'm loaded. It was Uzi and Rowdy Rich in the fucking, in the fucking, uh, Uber going like they, they was behind. Hundred. They wasn't even riding with the bitches. They was behind the bitches. They had like, two hundred hoes already. Yeah, they wasn't worried about fucking them bitches. Like what? nobody. Was they, bigger. they wasn't worried about my bitch. Bro. Yeah, exactly. He said yes. So that's the whole story though. But I did say baby, baby, because my bitch was all trying to talk to other hoes. Your bitch is gone. Yeah, it was so. I, bro, was limp, I had to near, limp all the way. Hey, bro, <laughs> damn near broke his ankle. Oh, I did. Damn near. You was performing and did that, huh? Oh During God. the fucking day, bro. Yeah. It's like three, four o'clock. Remember we saw Juice World that night? Yeah. That was so epic. I was so low that we I seen fucking Miguel. I, didn't even, Molly I was like, damn, we had Miguel. I was nigga going up. Okay, Miguel, what the fuck? We loaded. We were going up that night. We were fucking loaded that night. No, I was loaded. I, was, I think we were on Molly that night. Did the scissor kick jump? Who? That was legendary. Yeah. When Miguel went with that. Remember Miguel did that the award show? Oh, yeah. That was fucking legendary. <laughs> I remember that shit. I forgot about that shit. Yeah, that was an epic day. Yeah, but yeah, she had a shout out to Uzi. I didn't even take yeah, my bitch. Hell, <laughs> back to that. But yeah, let's see. Oh, Jabonte Davis, Ryan Garcia. Don't put that on there. No matter, I take the idea. I like that. You should. What's up when you get the merch? Get the uh, big cartel or the uh, merch lab. Did I say that? Did I say that? <laughs> nigga, did I say that? Did I say that? Man, I barely do my own merch, man. I gotta, no, I'm just <laughs> fucking with y'all. I gotta fucking get well, on no, that, you're man. You're dead serious. <laughs> hey, see, get on that, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you know? see how he just automatically, hey, see, get on that. You do his dead serious. He's a producer. I'm supposed to come here, see a list of fucking shit on the board, is, smoke a blunt, and talk it, shit for like it, two hours. Is I think that that's it? All I'm to, yes. That's all I'm supposed to do. And post. That's all I gotta do. Remember, uh, we were on the Don't Be a Man. So I ain't gotta go to work. I ain't gotta work. My mama can't take care of me. Remember, uh, <laughs> the daddy, the dad, what you do? Well, I yeah, I got, got I ain't got a job. He said, My mama take care My of me. My mama take care of me. And I got the SSI. <laughs> shit like that. Oh, some real street nigga shit. Uh, yeah, man. Just think my mama got me, nigga. Fuck what y'all got going on. <laughs> Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia, man. That's a fight that we want to see. I think I been want to see Javante knock that nigga out. I think that Javante, and I'll and shout out to Ryan Garcia. I know you're from the IE. And the IE, we fucking with you for part of that. But you versus Javante Davis is a fucking, I think Javante Davis is going to demolish his ass. I think so, too. That's why today ain't fought yet. I think niggas is like. But allegedly, it. it's going around. And yeah. actually, it's not even going around. Ryan Garcia just put this on his live because academics just posted it. That I guess he saw Javante Davis in the club, and Javante Davis tried to snatch his chain. No, he didn't. Yeah, he said he pressed him. And he tried. He grabbed his chain. He grabbed his chain. He was like, he wasn't gonna snatch it because it was security, but he grabbed his chain. Is that disrespectful? Hell yeah! <laughs> you know, my motherfucking chain, for, dog. You know Javante Davis because he grabbed it like nigga. I would take this if I wanted I to. Type shit. Like, Javante Davis, five foot five, grabbing fucking five foot ten. <laughs> Yeah, don't, hey, be, don't be coming to the club beast. just grabbing on my chain. That's some crazy <laughs> shit. You loaded, nigga. You drunk? He loaded. Huh? That's some shit. Hey, these boxers. Like, I didn't know. Is it smoke for real? Yeah, right, yeah. some niggas be. They, yeah, it's like, a fight, you huh? Mean, like you don't nigga, fuck I can with this fight. Man. Like nigga, it's a real. I can really beat your ass right now. Like, like, like nigga, I want to get paid for it, nigga. But I'll beat your ass in this club right now. Nigga, man. imagine niggas that came up to you in the club and said, "Bitch ass, nigga." Like, hold on, dog. What and, you mean? And I imagine Javante Davis rolls with like a fucking group of niggas. Like, I'm, I'm sure he got, niggas, niggas. <laughs> I'm sure he got like a rapper nigga entourage. Can't like, wait to <laughs> can't wait to just punch a nigga. Like, we gonna beat this nigga ass for what? I don't even got the heat, B. We just gonna, we gonna just jump these niggas. It's 30 of us. Everybody getting beat up. Man. Fuck that. You know, these you, you, niggas always running with 10 niggas ready to fight for no reason. Who we beating up? I think Ryan Garcia had like one homie with him. We got security with him. I don't need all my homies with me. I got security. I, I can fight. I'm pretty boy. Yeah, I, I can fight and I got security, nigga. Security gonna shoot and I'm gonna just drop two niggas. Like, we good by ourselves. You feel yeah. me? I don't need too many niggas. That's, that's liabilities. The homies can't fight. That's some nigga shit, huh? Rolling deep. Come on, man. <laughs> nigga got roll deep. They go N 17 nigga. niggas in one, one party for no reason. You see Javante Davis got the big ass rhino Jeep, nigga. Super fucking. 12 <laughs> niggas in there loaded, nigga. <laughs> on purse. Tank car. Slapping future. 
You ain't trying to fight. You ain't trying to fight no nigga in the club like that. Uh, he been loaded. I ain't trying to fight Javante Davis like that. What about him? And, uh, do we want to see like him and Devin Haney? You think that's gonna be a good one? I don't think they're gonna fight. I don't think they're gonna fight either. I don't feel like none of these boxers really want to smoke no more. Everybody want Floyd just really just fucked up the game of boxing. You think so? Yes, he fucked it up. I feel like everybody's just trying to be undefeated. I feel like nobody yeah. want to fight nobody. And That's get why he up fucked and take it a up. Loss. People don't want to. Everybody take... just want to be undefeated. Muhammad Ali took losses. Uh, Mike Tyson took losses. Fucking uh, who else? Fucking Sugar Shane took losses. Sugar Ray took losses. Like a lot of people lost. Like losing kind of makes you. If you lose, you can come back harder sometimes. You, you know need what I'm to saying? lose. Yeah, sometimes you need to lose to come back hard. Even Floyd lost in the Olympics. That shit don't count. He got cheated. We keep going over this. But I'm saying, like, he knows what it looks like to not... To not win. To not win. And so that's why he's the fucking greatest now. I would love to see those Javante. I mean, I feel like now, because of the chain situation, Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia have to fight each other. There's no way. They have to fight each other now. You come into the club and you put your hands on my chain... Sign the fucking contract. Where's I ain't like, nigga, yeah, he, he didn't hit me, so we're not going to fight yet, but next year is good. Where the contract at? That nigga don't want to fight that nigga, bro. You think he just talking big talk? Yes, he been. Nigga, Ryan Garcia does that, bro. He promote, nigga. He trying to promote. He going to do that and then fight a whole other nigga. Like, who the fuck is that you His fighting? His last two fights were so fucking trash. Bro, he be fighting. They were, like, niggas. fucking horrible. I'm not even going to say he fight nobody, but nigga, the niggas is a professional boxers, but he be fighting niggas. I do not know who the fuck they are. Man, he's fighting some fucking, I think they paying the niggas to fight him, like, giving them, like, a fucking fall bonus or some shit like that. Like, I'll pay you 20000 to get your ass beat by Ryan. I'd rather, see, I'd, see, I'd rather see Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney fight right now, too. Devin Haney going to whoop his ass. You don't know that. I feel like that. I feel like Devin Haynes. I want to see better. him fight. I want to see uh, Javante Davis or, uh, and Ryan fight. Either Shakur one. Stevenson? Who? Shakur Stevenson. See, niggas don't know about Shakur I'm not sure Shakur Stevenson. I, I, I don't know which one he would fight, though. I don't think he would fight neither of the niggas. I think he can go against Ryan Garcia. That'll be a great one. They both got that lean. He's going to knock that nigga the fuck out. We just, we're, no faith in Ryan Garcia. No, I'm not saying. I don't, not I don't, against the tough niggas, huh? No, I'm just saying. I nigga. fuck with him because he's from the IE, but he ain't really just fought no nigga that's just really. Like, even Tank, though. Tank got to prove. I mean, he don't got to prove shit. But I'm like, what you mean you got to prove? He ain't got to prove nigga. nothing. But he has to fight somebody, like, tough for me to, like, you know, he hasn't fought anybody tough in a minute. You sound crazy as hell. Who do you fight? Rowley? Yes. And that nigga before. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, he did. You tripping, nigga. He been, knocking, he been knocking niggas. Stop yeah, playing with this nigga tank, bro. He's lying like a mug. Isaac nigga. Cruz didn't get knocked. He actually lost by decision. Exactly. So it was a good fight. He's still a good niggas fight. getting knocked. Nigga. That's a yeah, good true. Fight. That was a good fight. Come on, bro. Stop playing with bro. Do you want to see Roly? I want to see Roly again. No, I don't. I want to see He's him corny fight. as fuck. I just love his energy. He knows how to sell the fight. Nigga, he sounds crazy as hell to me. <laughs> I don't want to hear that nigga talk no more. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? We need to get Roly Romero on the podcast for sure. Nah, we good on him. I'm we, sure he we has. We need like, Tank or Ryan Garcia or Devin Haney. We need Roly Romero. He's going to talk some shit. Bro, I'm not going to listen to that nigga talk for two hours. I'm going to tell you that right now. He might say some shit. Like that. Nigga might fire on you for trying to talk like that, nigga. <laughs> he might fire on you for talking shit about I'm him. not even talking. I'm just saying. I don't, I don't, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> nigga trying to backpedal. I'm not even talking shit for real. I'm just saying. You know these boxers. They might try to see about niggas. They, they can't put their hands on me. They go to jail. We ain't worried about no boxers. I ain't worried about no boxers. just registered. You can't be y'all just fighting regular niggas like that. I'm not scared of no 130, no 140 niggas. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck how many championship belts niggas will hit you 17 times before you hit them once time. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing with the niggas. The nigga hit you <laughs> before you even hit the niggas, bro. Don't do that to them niggas, bro. I'm not afraid of no fucking 140 You're not afraid, pounds, but they don't get up on your ass. I'm on that. Bro. Two of my hits, boom, boom, they out, nigga. I'm a bear hugger, nigga. Yeah, yeah buddy. I'll beat the shit out of McGregor. Oh, I knew you was going to bring up McGregor. I will beat the shit out of McGregor. Or, or, or Mayweather. What's Mayweather fight? Okay, look, this is what Mayweather. He fought 165, actually. I ain't going to say I'm going to beat the fuck out of Mayweather. You're not doing nothing to Mayweather. I'm going to get a couple punches in, though. You're not even touching him. My whole thing about Mayweather, I'm not backing off like a lot of niggas. I'm coming at you, man. You ain't fucking just... He going to sleep the fuck out you, then. <laughs> Yeah. I know he's so fast. He don't put your that's the only right reason I say Mayweather because he's just untouchable, and that's my favorite boxer of all nigga, time. Nigga, he's putting you to bed. You try to rush that nigga. I think, I think <laughs> well, you gonna know your feet in the next. You feel me? I think Mayweather is undefeatable in the ring. In okay, the I, 
Mayweather is the only nigga I'll just say that. Like, I ain't fucking, I ain't um, just go against me. I told you all these little 140 niggas, I'm not, I'm taking any nigga. But I'm a bigger, I'm a 200 something pound nigga. I'm not about to take, say that fucking no five foot some nigga is gonna whip my ass. Like, nigga, step in the ring, nigga. I, I'm a fighter too. Oh, uh, Mayweather security got knocked the fuck out. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, but that dude, it was an ex-boxer, though. A security guard? He fought Mike Tyson. Never. Yeah, yeah he's the world champion. He yeah. Are you serious? No, the dude that the, the you're talking about the black, dark-skinned security dude, right? That went viral? Like, yeah, he was a, he's the ex-world ch- champion. And he, and he got... <laughs> Damn. The security guard? Wait, did he get knocked out? Maybe we're talking about a different no, video. The nigga that fought the security guard. Becker yeah. don't know what the, the, the young the dude about. got the security guard knocked out a little dude. No, this dude got this security guard got knocked out. Oh no, I didn't see that. Yeah, see, see Becker didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. I didn't see about. that. I didn't see that one. They were yeah. trying to say like, how big? I heard like the uh, the C Mac Jet Five. They say that Jet Five got a, got that C Mac. They say he was a boxer. <laughs> they said here's C Mac on the video talking about. Uh, he was like, yeah, he a boxer. I'm just a street fighter, such and such. You know what I'm saying? It get like that, man. It get like that, huh? And C Mac a big ass nigga. He a big Samoan, big motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's the thing. Once you know how to box and you fight, you don't look at fights like how a regular person look at fights. Like I don't. When I size somebody up, I don't look at them like. Oh, why, you, why you sizing people up? You I size everybody up. Fuck is you on? That's some fighter shit. Like I just oh, you always. A fighter? <laughs> he said you the fighter. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I always size everybody. You gotta size everybody up. Like I don't never. I don't look at niggas like how like oh this nigga's just big. I look at him like all right nigga I'm gonna have to use a little more defense. I'm not just letting no nigga just fire on me. Like nigga I'm going crazy. Like I'll box any nigga. If Jake Paul can get in there with fucking Mayweather, and Mayweather went against this nigga because he had like a hundred pounds on him. I think it's fucking huge. You know what I'm saying? Like. You have great confidence. Who the fuck is Jake Paul? He ain't no fucking fighter. Or, or is it Jake Paul or Logan Paul? Logan Paul. Nigga, they've been training, though. Okay, nigga, I've trained, too. Where? Everywhere. <laughs> Capitillo Boxing. What was my old boxing? Did you say Tapatio? Capitillo Boxing. Oh. He's still like, you know, I know Muay Thai, nigga. You been doing Muay Thai. <laughs> I don't know. I already told you how long you been doing Muay Thai. <laughs> it ain't been that long to be saying you been to say. Nah, that. but boxing-wise, though, like, nigga, I'll box. Nigga, I'm not afraid to box nobody. Like, I'm not afraid to fight nobody. Boxing, like, I will box fucking Mayweather if I had to. I'll box Mayweather for the bag, nigga. I'll get in there. I'll get my ass knocked out for fucking 10 million, nigga. Shit. Nobody give you 10 million to fight Mayweather. <laughs> Shut your dumb ass. He, he giving niggas like, I can get 500K. I'm taking, I'm, taking, I'm taking pay-per-view. <laughs> nigga talking about give me 10 million. Mayweather ain't even paid Logan Paul. He's going give you 10 million, nigga. <laughs> he ain't even pay him Logan Paul. He ain't pay. That's what I said. Who the Wait, fuck look, give you 10 million? I saw this nigga fight his uh, fucking ex. He fought his uh, in Dubai the other day. You saw that? When he fought his the ex, his sparring partner, he fought him in Dubai. In, yeah, in, exhi- in the exhibition. And I'm thinking, like, how much do you get paid for this Mayweather? How much you pay your friend? Mayweather got 12, 13 million. Again, that nigga, five hundred thousand. Like, you good? You gonna eat forever? <laughs> it's my money you ever made. Like, nigga, fuck you. Give me a million dollars. You know these niggas is taking a pay per view. <laughs> Mayweather done set the pay per view up, the book the fight, book everything, nigga. You know how he concession get. stand, nigga. He like, yeah, he's selling t shirts too. <laughs> money team shit. Oh shit. I'm like, like, how much did he pay his opponents? Bro, they not making what he All these doing. little Japanese fighters and shit like that. <laughs> they paying this nigga. I don't know. He know he ain't going more than fucking. Mayweather needs seven million to step up. <laughs> Anything he doing, it's like a seven million, seven million dollar minimum. <laughs> it's Jake Paul. He keep joking on me saying that he got to do these fights because his taxes so high. Who? Bro. <laughs> <For> Mayweather? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he paying his taxes off with the fight. It's because he's so rich. That nigga <laughs> rich as shit, nigga. <laughs> No, uh, Mayweather paying the yeah. It was deep, deep. Bro, you seen that nigga was in the fights. store and he counted the money, and he has a nigga that counts the money after he counts it. <laughs> like nigga, how fucking rich are you? I'm oh, for man. sure not gonna have no nigga count my money. Young boy is part of the family. Yes. So that nobody's checking him. He's like, <laughs> Sleep. Bro, the nigga there at the register, Mayweather counts the money, then the nigga starts counting the money. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> Can we talk about how you mean a young boy is Mayweather's fucking son-in-law? <laughs> That's random, huh? You got, you got a baby by Yaya, huh? Yeah, the Yaya. He got the little grandson. 
He did that quick. No, maybe they'd be like, how the fuck did this happen in my house? <laughs> this big ass house. This crazy ass nigga in, in, in my house now. <laughs> New Orleans from New Orleans. He loves his grandson. He always be posting his grandson. He's like, I'm gonna get you in boxing. You ain't gonna be no rapper. Like you gonna daddy. beat your daddy ass. <laughs> I can't do it right now. He's hands, he's hands and sure right now. I gotta wait till 2025. That's a crazy ass thing. Imagine nigga the NBA young boy in your family. That's a lot of money. They got some money. <laughs> I got some money. Oh yeah, my baby mama billionaire. I'm chilling. My baby mama billionaire. I'm rich as fuck. Granddaddy rich as hell. Man, I'm straight. Baby good. Baby good. Like, you know, one brother, you know, baby, well, young boy got 10 kids. I just think he just had a kid right now. They just announced that the young boy had a kid right now. His you lying. Kid, his 10th kid, 22 years old. Shout out to NBA young boy. He What's the kids. purpose of having that many kids? <laughs> Generation, man, he, legacy, the legacy. <laughs> he said, what's the purpose of having Because it's like, can you really even really raise all of them? 10 kids? Like, can you can spend you? time with 10 kids? He said, hell yeah. Yeah, if you rich as fuck, you probably could. We all know niggas ain't spending time with their kids like that. <laughs> niggas ain't spending time. <laughs> situation here. Rich niggas is really not with their kids like that, man. Is Future with all his kids? We never see. We, we see Future on TV we more than anybody, man. <laughs> <laughs> we see Future, every, like, you, can you be with your kid and be on TV and travel as much as all these niggas and be in Europe and fucking... <laughs> I saw Future at fucking Rolling Loud Miami at the fucking Soho when I was going in his ass with 10 bitches. I'm saying, you, can't be, you can't be hot just have all these kids. They, they gotta learn that daddy hot, man. I'm, I'm making these albums right now. That's the reason you owe for life. I can't spend the, I can't spend the time with you, but the money good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Your money albums. always gonna be good. I'm so. making these albums. <laughs> I'm making these albums. I'm traveling. I'm touring. I got child support. You feel me? But what about like Drake? Drake got his son. Uh, That's one nigga. He, like, <laughs> yeah, he can spend time with one. He got like ten baby mamas and shit. That's what I'm like six. saying. Like, there's no way in hell you can spend time with them kids, bro. There's no way in hell. <laughs> you just got to pay for shit. You just gotta be, it's like five. You really fucking with another five? Like. I'm gonna see you when I can see y'all. That's crazy. Like to have that 22 have. But if I was rich, kids. I would try to have like 10 kids too, though. That's some hood nigga shit. I would do the same thing. Why not? I'm rich. That's I can pay for all of them. That's some hood nigga shit to have that many baby. But like different baby mamas with every kid damn near. Every kid got like damn near. Why every not? Mama. That's some Lil Wayne shit. Remember Lil Wayne was doing that shit? Just getting bitches pregnant. He hot. That's what you do. He hot. I think I'll do that if I got high like that. You just high, you out here fucking no kind of like, bitch, I'm, I'm hot. That's what's the crazy thing. I'm gonna thing. drop an album, get a baby. Every time I get a baby, I'm gonna drop an album. Fuck it. That's what the crazy what thing you drop is. Take. Fuck it. No condom. With like 10 different. Don't promote that. I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying. No, I'm like, saying. That's just, no. You're <laughs> not, not promoting, promoting it, but that's what it saying. is. Obviously, that's what it is. Wait, doesn't fucking little, doesn't even your boy have herpes? Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Don't be doing that on this podcast. No, that's a fact. That's not even fucking. I'll be doing that on this podcast. He so. said that publicly. He said it in songs. I know, but you you didn't have to bring it up like I don't know. I don't know where that came from right now. I'm just thinking like, damn, like are these kids? They just stopped the whole podcast. And said, Hold on, like, whoa, does he have herpes? Like, bro, chill. That's crazy. That came out of nowhere. That's crazy. That's some shit. Speaking of like uh, influential young trap. Gangster rappers. Charlemagne. Charlemagne says that Chief Keith is not top five. He's not influential. Was smoking dick. Chief Keith's not influential. He's like one of the most influential rappers of his time. I feel like Chief Keith started niggas wearing dreads. Like young niggas, this new generation of niggas wearing dreads. Bro. Who started that? Waka Flock, no. Not no. as much as Chief. Not as much Chief, as Chief, bro. Walker had niggas. But not like dreads. Chief. No, for sure, for sure. Chief had the short dreads. But niggas, this nigga Chief made niggas that had fades <laughs> every day in their life start grow wearing dreads. Yes, nigga. No, I said, I'm, I'm, no, no, Walker, I'm saying. Walker I said, might have inspired Chief. Like, he's like the first generation. Like, it's like this. You always got the niggas that, that inspired the, the goats. You know, like, Walker is one of those OGs. But Walker's Walker's okay, wave Walker was sure. his wave was hot, but it wasn't bigger than Chief Keith. He didn't do it, he as big as Chief, right. exactly. Fuck no. Exactly. Wait, look, Chief Steve started the dreadlocks. He started the fucking designer. Chief Keith so hot, niggas in California was not wearing designer like this 10, 12 years ago. Fuck no. Chief Keith started Chief that. Chief Keith made California niggas start wearing designer, nigga. Like all that trap you had to go True get religion. Clear. You had to get some Gucci. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying how big how big how like, big pe- this nigga was. Let's talk like, about people talking about like kids talking about shooting each other. Even though like you know it's a big thing in hip hop, whether you like it or not, 
guns in hip hop is a big thing. Chief Keith started the young sad. ass niggas talking about uncensored, sixteen years old talking about you couldn't be sixteen. <laughs> we didn't respect that back in the day when you <laughs> was young. Yes, put hella guns in the video. Hella guns. Sticks, nigga, chop sticks. Like yeah, Chief Keith is. Yes, he. You see one, you see, you see the whole video. Eight niggas next week, two of them niggas like got burnt out. They gone, they dead now. Nigga. Yeah, like Chief Keith has a lot of inspiration from other rappers, of course. But Chief Keith is one of Chief the most Keith inspirational. Chief Keith put True rappers. Religion on the back. Come on, let's talk about it. True Religion fiend. Brought I'm the North Face. Remember the North fiend. Face? He brought North Face. I didn't Face know what the bid. fuck True Religion was. He made North Face's bid. I didn't know what True was. Nigga, there's no reason for nigga in California to be having a North Face. Niggas are wearing North Faces. <laughs> There's no reason for a nigga in California to have a North Face. I finally got one. It's the thinnest fucking <laughs> Oh, it's, it is? It's because it's North Face. It's like a Newberry. Yeah, no, for Charlamagne to say that. Religion. But you got to think, Charlamagne was fucking old when that shit. Like, Charlamagne's damn near 50, probably. It don't 40 matter. or some years it old. It don't matter. Yeah, but he industry, though. He ain't in the fucking... The streets, like Chief Keith had the streets. Like you gotta remember, Chief Keith never made it all the way to the industry. Chief Keith had the whole rap game in the head. Like, yeah. fuck the streets. You tripping. He could have made it to the industry, but he didn't do certain songs, and that's why he didn't, he just kind of stayed. He was supposed to just pull up to that Hey Being Sober video shit. The Hey Being Sober video. That's the legend. That's but the I legend. Feel of like, Chief I Keith. feel like we didn't need that video for real, though. To be we didn't, honest. We did, but the you know, the white kids needed that. You know what I'm did saying? They? The, the mainstream. Hey, see, did you need that? <laughs> you need the Hey Being Sober video? See, he didn't need it. I actually like that. <laughs> Never I'm mind. He needed the I'm video not, for sure. I'm not even gonna lie. When Chief Keith came out, I hey, being sub. Uh, that song that was like bright. When Chief Keith, I was just tripping. Like, why is Fifty on this song? I think I think Fifty is sober. Fifty and fucking Wiz Khalifa. That was random as hell. Because it's just fucking mainstream industry ass shit. Label ass. That shit. might be one of the most like industry songs ever. Cause like, why was Fifty and Wiz on this? But think about it. He would have got all 50 fans from the gangster. He would have got the gangster rap fan, and then he would have got all <laughs> with Khalifa fans. The little, That's why Chief pulled up. He was like, I don't even think I should be, like, doing this video. <laughs> like, I'm going to just let the song do what it do. We're going to do this Kobe with Reese. Yeah, like, I'm going to let the song do what it do. Jimmy Iovine tweaking, calling my phone. I'm not pulling up. <laughs> We're going to pull this lean up. We're going to smoke hella, hella blunt, so fuck it. I don't know what they on. <laughs> I don't think 50 smoke weed. He's like, I'm high. I was high when I made this shit. I was supposed to do a video shoot today. I'm in New York. Y'all in Cali? Damn. Imagine some young nigga just high as fuck shit. I feel like Chief was really doing that. Remember he wasn't showing up to concerts? He wasn't giving a fuck. Niggas like, Chief did not show up tonight. Like, I had a concert? <laughs> he was getting kicked off planes and shit for being too blowed. Niggas smelling like gas. Was he? Fuck yeah. Hell of shit. I'll be mad as fuck nigga tell me I can't go to the plane because I smell like too much loud. Oh, man. Like, yeah, nigga, man. I'm scared he, to fly. I'm off the loud. I don't think Chief Q gave a fuck in the beginning. Remember they put that nigga over and said he was going to face. That's, because why, some that's, people, why, that's why I bought the car. I mean, because some people <laughs> say, <laughs> would you say that Dirk is bigger than Chief Q now? I mean, yeah. Like, is he? Okay. He might be hotter, exactly. Hotter than Chief Keith. Influence? No. Oh, not influence, but... But Dirk has a big influence as For far sure. as, like, I feel like he brought that street love songs to the... You Dirk know, been hot. He just got he's got way huge now. He's just like a superstar. He just now. made bangers back to back to back to back we, to back. Did we to talk back. about this last episode? You got the stars, superstar, megastar. We did talk about that. He's yeah. definitely a megastar. Uh, not a superstar. He's definitely a superstar now. Yeah. He might be a megastar. He's not a megastar. I don't know. It might be Dirk might be a megastar. Like, Lil Dirk's a megastar? Is, 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 Chief, a megastar. is Chief Keith a megastar? <laughs> yes. No. I'm giving Keith megastar. I don't give a fuck what you say. Chief Keith might be a megastar. Yeah, he's me I don't give a fuck what Eddie Baker says about Chief Keith about being a megastar. Chief Keith is a megastar. Chief Keith is a megastar. Fuck you. Chief Keith's a megastar. <laughs> like, nigga, I, I didn't Chief give Keith. a fuck what you talking about. I get Chief Keith's a megastar. Mega but Dirk, I don't know about Dirk megastar. Dirk is a megastar, bro. No, we, you got to set. We, well, he did go a million. Bro. He sold, he went platinum. Who? Nigga, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what did he say? He said he was on DJ Khaled album. He was a megastar. <laughs> Skylakes, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bro, Scott. So? DJ Khaled gets everybody on this album. He gets $10 million. Dollars. Every year. Does he? Yes, look at his feature. I'm on his album. Look at the top 50. Look at this. I just play. Why you stop? 
<laughs> yeah, but DJ Khaled got beat twice by Tyler Crater. Was it twice? Hell yeah, twice. Two years in a row. Because Tyler is fucking Tyler like, coach. He's yeah, making man, hot nigga. shit, nigga. Have y'all, have y'all seen the last two Tyler Crater projects? That shit the with Young Boy was nigga. hot. Nigga, the whole album is hot. That, yeah, that, that, I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. The album with Young Boy, that shit was hot. Yeah, that shit's hot. The rollouts, the videos, the shows. His the... shit been hot, though. He been doing his own thing, his own lane. And he, t- he never, like... Oh, man, he's, he's, rich, he's rich as fuck. He's rich, oh, as, he's rich as fuck. He's rich as shit. He's rich as fuck, but it's not only that, he's just artistic as he fuck. He stayed in his own lane. He stayed in his own lane, lane and he's nigga. fucking killing it. Killing it with the fashion, too. Can we talk about him killing I it I need some fashion. of them shoes. Man. I, I'm fucking with Dolph Wayne. I'm fucking with them shoes. Them shoes look like he fly. The LaFours? Yeah. I, I like them. I get some of them. I like them. Like, like I said, he got some real artistic I rock them. You see and, Bones send me some shoes. And, I need everybody's shoes. Everybody feel, send me some shoes. I knew this was going to happen, and I'll say it right now. Okay, I feel like here we go. Tyler, the creator, to Kanye Lane. To Kanye Lane. Let me explain. Excuse me. Let me explain. You up here burping off the white claws? <laughs> Fucking stepdad, shut the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tyler the shit. Creator, remember, remember back in the day when Kanye West first started winning Grammys? Every year he would win a Grammy. You feel me? And the album got <laughs> better and better every time. Talking about yeah? Yeah. That's the lane. You know what I'm saying? Kanye hasn't won the Grammy in a while. You feel me? But I feel like... Man, he's been stressed out. Yeah, 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 of course. I feel the, music, the quality of music, we've got more quantity than quality. Away from Kanye in the last project, even though I mean, you would know. You're, you're, I like the you're last the uh, Jesus King album, epic, and he actually did win a Grammy for that. Actually, he did for win, real. Yeah, he didn't win a rap Grammy. He won the best gospel album. Shit, that's a Grammy, right? And he won the American Music Award for best gospel. Like he won a lot of awards for that album. You put Kanye West in the Christian album. Yeah, you're putting him in the Christian album category oh, now. So he's not even doing rap anymore. So that's why I feel like Tyler Creator is that new artist. Is the artist that. The Grammys and the Academy have chosen to be that new poster yeah, boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Even though, because he was mad, actually. Tyler Crater was mad because he won Best Rap Album two years in a row. And he felt like he should have won Best Album because he felt like his album, like, transcended. Not just a rap album. It's yeah, he says artistic you album. Don't even get to you, don't even... you don't even get to go on stage with for the rap album. Yeah. Why? Because the Grammys involved. You know, the first Grammy, the person who won the first Grammy ever was Will Smith. He won the first Grammy in history. Whoa, that's legendary. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. And and he they boycotted Whoa. it. Yeah. They boycotted it. Yeah, they boycotted it. The one where he won? Yeah, it was the first Grammys ever where they put rap. He won the best rap album. And Hold the, on. And he won the, the first Grammy ever, the first rap Grammy. The first rap Grammy oh, ever. Oh, I thought he won the first Grammy ever, nigga. No, no, no. no the first rap Grammy. That's for, still fire. That's hard. That's still legendary. Yeah, that's still, that's legendary. Like, yeah. if you go back, like, you know what I'm saying? So why they boycott it, though? Because they felt like they didn't get TV time. Like, hip-hop. Yeah, like, they were like, why can't we be on TV getting presented with everybody else? Like, why do we have to get... And it's still the same way? Uh... I don't. Well, I don't, said, nah, you don't because you don't get to come up and talk. Oh yeah, you don't. Because I was about to say That's Cardi B, way, but then. Cardi B got she got she won Best New Artist. You know what I'm saying? So Why I do rap got, like that then? Because it's the demographic. That's but, fucked up, Lucky. Yeah. I want a Grammy, but I can't come up here and say my piece. And so that's why Tyler Creator. That's why he felt some type of way because you know you don't get to. He already won Best New Artist. I think for the Grammys already. So. You know, winning rap, even though he run the rap album two years in a row, you don't get to see it. He, he was trying to win something else. He could say something. Yeah, you want to be able to say some shit. That's fucked up. Yeah. I mean, it's life. It's- and they ain't going to change the format. Like, nigga, I can't say something. I want to rap album. That's not that's not big to y'all. I mean, I feel like that's huge. But then, you know, you think of music is so huge because you got artists like Ed Sheeran. So country and all that, you could, you could talk? Uh, I don't think so. Country either. I don't think you can do country either. I think they do best new artist. I think they do album of the year. I think they do. So like, you got to be just the best in category. I think it's all. the best. Like you know what I'm it saying. Can't be every category basically. Yeah, because Kendrick didn't. Or no, wait, 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 wait. Macklemore did say something before, so maybe. What, did that, he win best rap album? Nah, though? I think that was for best album of the year. That was for album of the year, I believe. So yeah, maybe it's different. What was that like? 2012. Yeah. Damn. 2012. That was a weird year for music. What do you mean? 2012. What do you mean? It was like gang of hot people. I was about to say, I think we got a lot of like good. Albums. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's a weird year for music because it was a gang of hot people, like a gang of hot people. That's like when Kendrick and all of them were like coming up that little yeah. wave of hip hop. ASAP right? Rocky dropped the, that year, I think. <laughs> yeah. Good year. That's what I'm saying. That was a weird year for music. It was too much hot music. Ice Spice, the new Canadian rapper. Girl. She's Canadian? I mean, excuse me, she's from the Bronx. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. See, that's what happened when you come out with Drake. <laughs> when you come out. 
Hey, when you come out with Drake, <laughs> look, nigga. <laughs> nah, the look. New Canadian rapper Ice Spice. Ice Spice, the new I'm drill not, rapper. Know, Canadian? Ice Spice, the new drill rapper from the Bronx. She a drill rapper? She's a drill rapper. She she shoots in her. I don't think I she, don't know if she's shooting. I don't shit, think she's a drill rapper. Though. I don't think she's just rapping. That's what they call the. It's New York drill, but she not. Uh, Ain't no shooting going on in that shit though. But she's she, rapping over drill beat. So that's drill. I thought drill was like we gunning shit and niggas be pop. <laughs> it's, it's the sound now. It's New York drill. <laughs> so niggas is not dying no more. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Fucked up, huh? Don't leave me hanging on the show. <laughs> I was too busy laughing at you. <laughs> Joey Badass. Fucking, uh... You said Boom Bat? What are those niggas from uh, a Griselda? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, the, um, yeah, the Griselda niggas still spitting. Griselda spitting. They hard, though. They got some shit. They boom Bat is still big in New York. But the drill It's not trap They really rapping for real <laughs> Griselda He said it's trap I don't think it's trap It's rap. drug dealer music Yeah it's, it's, okay, I think Ice Spice that. But like Ice Spice Like you know As a girl Like you're not drilling shit But you can rap over Don't do that beat. It's some bitches drilling shit Don't do that <laughs> It's some bitches drilling shit Don't do that In the drill music too? Yeah it's some really bitches drilling shit Man, Little I'm bitches mad. to the What about Cardi B Like Cardi B the drill rapper I've been hearing her on some drill shit lately though This nigga said She has like probably her. Damn The song she just dropped with Uh What's her face? She's from fucking New York. So if you're doing New York, Cardi drill, B might be a drill. I mean, she banging and all type she of shit. Banging, she big bees she thought, and nigga, all that. her mixtape that she blew a ball are called Gangster Bitch Music Volume One and Volume Two. Is it? Yeah. Oh, she was tripping. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know nobody. No nigga, you never really heard of That's Cardi what I'm saying, B. Is I, it? Yeah, because I was on an Uber one time and this uh, my Uber driver was a girl and she was playing some shit. Who the fuck is this? How you got this? And it was and I looked. She's like, it's Cardi B. And I looked at the album. What year was that? Maybe like 2014, 15. Gangster, that's what Cardi B's mixtapes are. Gangster Bitch Music, Volume 1. Gangster Bitch Music, Volume 2. And I just feel like Cardi B made like street anthems. Like she's like a fucking drill bitch. Is she? I feel like she makes street her anthems. Music, her, her sound is like Atlanta bitch. I feel like bitches shake their ass up to Cardi. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, shit. It's the tape. Those are her tapes. Damn, why was I on this? <laughs> I, I didn't know about this. Bro, she like a trap bitch. Like oh, the volume one is even crazier. <laughs> you see that shit? Yeah, the volume one is the cover's nuts. Yeah, bro. Like, Cardi B is like not no little bubble. And the song is just a little thought. That's why. Why. Forever. <laughs> on fleet. Wish popping. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, That's when how people, it spilled. When people were like. <laughs> That's how it spilled. <laughs> when people were weirded out about like WAP and all that stuff, I'm like, y'all, like Cardi B been on the same shit. Forever. Oh, the uh, the WAP song. Yeah, cause I had like actually listened to her tape after I got in that Uber and I listened to her music and I was like, nigga, oh, like she gassing. Like, Who the fuck is banging this gangsta this ass album, bitch volume one? I mean, this album like is like what four times platinum. This Invasion of Privacy. This album is fucking hard as hell. The album is hard. She Cardi B's a good artist, but I definitely put her like in that drill. She been, she did she just dropped a song with K Flock and uh. All them. She didn't just drop. She band dropped like about it. two, three months ago. Yeah, and then she, I even listen to it though. Is it banger? Banger. Is it? I, I love. Point. I just love how she raps. She just real thug out. What are you? What are you looking at? Yeah, she needed money. Bitches love Cardi. I'm not gonna lie. Every bitch I, I know fuck with Cardi. It's either so, you fuck with Cardi or Nicki Minaj. I know. It's so I don't hard. think. I don't think I met someone that fuck with both yet. Because it's a war. Why though? It's just what it is. It's like, I feel like Nicki Minaj represents that old school hip hop, though. I feel like she's like the last of that hip hop spitter. I, yeah, it's boom bap. <laughs> for sure. Because, I mean, like, wait, Nicki Minaj. I Mina hate that term, I mean, Nicki bap. Minaj it's knows how to make a hit, though. Obviously, she has hella hits. Yeah, like, for surely. She got hella hits. So, like, she knows how to make a banger hits, too. And then she knows how to make bangers, too. But she. I come, love both. She's Lil Wayne's protege. She's Lil Wayne's protege. They like, both got bangers. You feel me? I'm, I'm rocking with both. I'm rocking with both. But I, I feel like females don't be fucking with both. They like it's either or. Okay, it's like this. Cardi B is is like no matter what, Cardi B is the next queen of hip hop. Like those numbers right there are gonna be hard to top. You feel me? For anybody. And Nicki Minaj is the only one that can top those numbers. And the thing that's different between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B is that Cardi B has more solo hits. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Nicki's platinum songs are with males. And that's been a, that's been a big thing in her career. That's why lately she's been dropping solo songs, because she's trying to get those 
solo numbers, you know what I'm saying? Like to show that like I don't give a fuck if it's whoever was with niggas, it's, it's, it's plaques. Nigga, fuck what y'all talking about. I wouldn't give a fuck. Draw the line between the two eras at Instagram. Like Nikki was Nikki was in Nikki's era before Instagram and then Cardi came. Yeah. Well Nicki Minaj has fucking millions of records. Pink Friday is a fucking looks like diamond, ain't it? I think Pink Friday is like 10 million. Even so. though Nicki was before Instagram, she's Maybe fucking, not Diamond. She's still fucking huge, though. Nicki Minaj is Nicki. It's Lil Wayne's protege. The biggest rapper, the best rapper of all time. We we say Jay-Z is maybe the biggest rapper, the most popular Jay-Z Tupac, you know what I'm saying? But Wayne is like the most, is I guess the best rapper alive. Let's say it like that. Will we say that, Lil Wayne? Why are you telling me this? I'm just putting that out there. He's the best rapper alive to me. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like, in, in, in my eyes. I'm just saying, like, universally speaking, though, like, we say, like, Lil Wayne's yeah, one, the, one of the goats. Like, he's up there with Jay-Z and stuff like that. Uh, duh. These, they're protégés. If you look at, like, a Jay-Z, you look at Eminem, you look at uh, but it's, Dr. It, Dre. Nicki Minaj look, is his protégé? Yes. I thought it was Drake. Nicki Minaj and Drake are both Lil Wayne's protégés. He put both of them on. So that just and make him his protégés? And they're, yes. He signed them. He boosted their career. they Drake, First I wouldn't time know I ever Drake. heard Nicki that was on Gucci song. That's true, but mainstream wise though, Lil Wayne gave her that better look. College girl, in case y'all want to know, because y'all niggas don't know about shit. Yeah, I remember old school when she was signed with. Uh, you don't know about that. When she was signed with uh, college girl, Miss A Entertainment. You don't know about that. So I do. You wasn't on that, bro. I was on that. Was you? Yeah. All right, my bad. Shut up. That's like the old little <laughs> line, the old line wire. You got to download. You feel me? You might fuck your computer up type shit. Line wire, but uh, yeah. So like you know. She's gonna have a big career, but the thing about Cardi B, like she, she made her own career, like she, Cardi but she, hot as shit. She doesn't have that they male both hot though. Yeah, but it's just that one has a cosign and one doesn't. One is a protege of one of the best best rappers of her life, and one is just a female artist that's just coming on their own. And I feel like that's why they're beefing because I feel like Nicki Minaj that irks her that like, you know, her records are unbeatable. Like, you feel me? Nicki Minaj has crazy numbers. But it's just crazy. This girl comes out of nowhere. This little Puerto Rican girl from the Bronx, New York. You know what I'm saying? Just and and huh? Stripper. Why you throw that in there? I mean, because that's part of her thing. Like she's a real bitch. Like that's why she's I, a real bitch. I feel like, like that's why. What? I feel like that's why Cardi B blew up so big. This because thing is crazy. In the most respect, in the most respectful way, in the most respectful way. Like, said, whoa. Don't come over here tripping off. Say in the most respectful way. <laughs> I don't mean <laughs> But no, she's like a real, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she came up on some shit. Like, we seen, like, yes, Nicki Minaj may came, came up in the industry. You feel me? Like, she might have her freestyle video, a couple mixtapes. But we know that Cardi B, like, came up, like, from a fucking meme. You feel me? Like, hoes gonna get cold. And you know. Oh, yeah. Damn, that <laughs> is true. Yeah, she came That's before she started rapping. Love and hip-hop took her to the next level. Like, yeah, she really, I don't even remember when I seen uh, Cardi first. I don't remember. Probably that whole I remember Hoes Don't Get Cold. Probably that, and then the Bodak. Think about it. She took Bodak that meme. And Yellow got out of it, came out of nowhere. She took that meme and made it into a multi-million dollar <laughs> enterprise. She married Amigo. Amigo. Offset, another, like, Shit. Offset's legendary. Huh? They are married. He's talking about you're not legendary, not Amigo. Uh, it's, it's amigo. They gonna be amigos for life. Even, if they, even if they did break up, nigga, they, you feel me? They're fucking cousins. The niggas stepped the like, barbecue like, what y'all doing? What y'all yeah, on? Like, Are y'all dropping that tape? No. 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 I think future. They probably was over there chilling with each other. Like, they was probably tripping like, hold on, wild burst. Trying to roll it out. Take off to give a fuck you. Like, I ain't on this shit anyway. I'd be out there for what? <laughs> <laughs> be out there for what? I'd be out there for what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that shit was Did hot. It? Rain drop, drop top. You was out there. It was hot. I ain't gonna it was lie. It was raining. It rained. And it was hot. It was hot, bro. You said what? I would have been mad as fuck. He said. <laughs> hey, that nigga Future said in the back was like, just made five hundred k. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Future walked the fuck out when it started raining. He, he like, said, Fuck "This shit, I'm out." Oh, this is the contract. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get my three songs. Yo, my homie Offset finna do a couple songs. So yeah, though. the contract said if it rain, I gotta do no more. So I ain't doing no more. I see y'all. I'm coming soon. Future. I wonder why we never see. I wonder why Cardi B Put doesn't up. perform at uh, Rolling Loud. We never see Cardi B at Rolling. 
I don't know. I, 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 I your peoples. Mm-hmm. She probably want two million. Oh yeah, because she's like now she's a megastar. Have I seen? I never seen Cardi B before. She's a megastar. Have you? No. We actually Cardi B before. She's a megastar. She had a bitches like that's that's them tickets gonna be like four five hundred dollars. Who said we pay? We, we was more like you going, can't get in the megastar shows free. We was more like going to try to get in there. Independent, drop a hot tape, independent nigga. artists, <laughs> and get in there. Independent artists, underground artists, you you can get up to like superstar. She could be on the festival. You can get in the superstar show. She could be on the festival. She ain't gonna be on the festival. You don't know that. The bag too much. Is it? Yeah, it's way too much. Like future probably <laughs> taking like a, future probably taking like a quarter million, half a million easy. Future on a million every time to pull up. Does he want a million? Man, you're talking about future here. What you mean, inflation? Yeah. Maybe it's like, damn, you get a million? That's crazy. Now it's like a million. Because oh, yeah, they're baby. making fucking so much money off that shit, merch and all that shit. I need, I'm giving you a million. You're going gonna to make, make four million off me. That's crazy. I need my million. I ain't pulling up. Future. Look at this Drizzy, though. I think. It's Drizzy. That was so long ago. Drizzy. I'm Drizzy. That is Drizzy, though, bro. Like, when you're a star. You finna pay for Drizzy because everybody gonna come see Yeah. Drizzy. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. When you're a star, like, you know, we're stars. You can get into, like, superstar shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your superstar friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like You don't know who I get in. You don't know who I know. Megastar. I fuck around and know Why, why, why you wasn't at the Drake show? Why you wasn't at the Drake and Kanye? Because that's Megastar. Was you there? I wasn't there because I'm not. I'm a star. Why I was there. I'm a star. I didn't have the path. I didn't have the path. I was I there. If I was a superstar, I probably get to hear one of my megastar friends. I didn't want to be in there because you don't got megastar. Drake friends. wasn't doing no shit. I want to hear yeah. in there. You don't have megastar. They friends. doing in there doing some um, shit. I want to hear. He if ain't doing. Were, um, if you was a superstar, you would have one of your megastar friends. He ain't doing take care to let you in there. He ain't doing take care. You love Drake. You would have been there. You don't know what I love. You love Drake. I fuck with Drake. I love him. I fuck with him. You like him a lot. It's a deep like. But <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Like I said, when you're a star, you hit your, like if you were a superstar, you hit one of your mega star friends. Like, what, what, what situation? If you were like, I don't even know what to say. If you were like Roddy Rich, you hit Post Malone. Like, I mean, give me the Drake shit. You know what I'm saying? So you don't think Roddy Rich is getting Drake shit? Yeah, he hits Post Malone. Why the fuck would he have to hit Post? Malone he hits one of his me- he hits one of his mega star friends. You don't Make sure you Roddy Rich and Drake is homies. I feel like Roddy Rich is a superstar. Oh, just that guy. And, 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 and I'm just it. saying, like the okay. superstar hitting his mega star friend. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like Roddy Rich is a superstar. I don't think he's mega star yet, but he's definitely a superstar. You love the superstar, and mega star type. I like don't that. You? Love. I'm, <laughs> star, I'm <laughs> working towards out. the superstar. You got to the fuck out. I'm just trying to be a young superstar. I'm drug dealer superstar. I'm trying to be a young rap superstar. How the fuck we get to Ice Spice to this? I don't think we talked about Ice Spice, did we? Oh, Ice Spice. Did we talk about Ice Spice? I saw somebody make oh, a good... We did talk about Ice Spice. With the... <laughs> I saw... Look, I was going back to Ice Spice. I saw somebody say something. Look, look. I saw... You know, I'm sure you guys have been seeing a lot of the Ice Spice slander lately. You have been seeing a lot of the Ice Spice slander lately. <laughs> yeah. Even that though I don't, funny though sometimes. I don't have no problem with Ice Spice. I like Ice Spice. I don't Spice. care. Like, I, I, but, but I think... So, this shit's funny, though. Somebody made a good point in one of the slander things that I was watching, like I said. In Ice Spice, there's no slander on you, Ice Spice. I think you're very beautiful. You're and I don't even like the you're Munch... As hell. No, I don't you're even like the Munch song. The Munch song is not my favorite. I like that, uh, the little slow song. And you know it was dirty. We both from the Bronx. So I know you were I never funny. heard the song. I just seen that I just seen bits and pieces on TikTok. Bro, the song is good. Like I like that song better than the main song. But that's like those two songs that her twerking the little slow songs, those are you hard. You got the crib shaking ass. I'm like, that shit hot. I ain't shaking ass, but I'm like jigging like you that. You damn near twerking I'm at jigging. the crib. I'm jigging like that. I'm getting a little jig. This nigga at the crib off the ice by his twerking. That's a those crazy songs are hard. I like the little emotional. She has a nice voice. Don't send me them bangers. I gotta, I gotta I'm going to send them there. to you. You'll fuck with them. You like those little slow songs off the lean. Oh, the drug song. Oh, I'm off drugs. What like, a porn boss. Do you like feel that? me? Like that type of That's why I'm not even saying that nothing, guys, bro. Isn't that this what you kids like this... today? Bro, bro, you are a stepdad, for real. Isn't that what your kids are into today? <laughs> what well, you, you played that? Isn't that what your kids are into today? I ain't even wearing mine today. You just got to be in mine. I ain't even wearing mine. I'm wearing Vans right now, but you just got to be in the same type of shit. I'm keeping it cozy. 
I feel you want to drive. You want you want to have a shoe on. Man, I feel like I'm fall asleep with the Crocs. You got to wear real shoes when you're driving a long drive. You feel like crap. Man, the car's knocked out. I feel you. I feel you on that. Y'all don't feel like that? When you drive a long place, you got to have, like, real shoes on? Yeah, definitely. Huh? You don't have, like, flip-flops? You don't have to these shoes. Crocs? Oh, uh, okay, I feel you, man. That's what black people shit. That's what he's trying to say. He went easy. That's what he's trying to say. Like, I'm not like. He didn't say that. He I tried, he tried to make it sound like that. I don't wear slides outside. Said, boy, looking ass nigga. Well, only black people wear chill shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Elliot told me one time. He was all like, he's like, I don't know why you guys wear the slippers with the socks. He's all like, <laughs> What am I supposed to wear? No socks? <laughs> yeah. He was like, You guys wear the slippers with the socks? I just don't get that. <laughs> they keep the toes out. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that. <laughs> We hide the toe. We, that's just that's just cold. You ain't supposed to be doing that. You see another nigga out and his toes out. You be like, what you on? You supposed to be hiding now. Put them pigs back in that fucking blanket. Fuck you doing? Why is that? <laughs> why is that cold? You, out, you, out, a, you, you out of you out of you out of cold right now, my nigga. What you doing? If you see a nigga Who with some like with? designer slides without socks on, you looking at that nigga fucking crazy. You better like, type the homie like like bro. What the fuck is he doing? His toes. You out. better just woke up. What? What? <laughs> nigga, I done seen like, everywhere. Gucci, bro. Louis Vuitton, uh, nigga, uh, all tight. Montclair slippers. I keep the fucking socks on. I know. I'm saying he's saying that he don't he he don't see niggas without oh no socks on. Oh, no. No. no, that's against code. But I've been maybe in I, the house. Like if no. you in the house, if you run around the house and you just stupid I done shit seen off niggas the at the beach like that. Oh yeah, at the beach you'll do I'm it. I'm still wearing socks. You do it to be socks what, to the beach. Look, I'll come out with I got socks on the beach. Pictures on Instagram, niggas are hitting you still with the socks. Like, nigga, yes, nigga. <laughs> no, I feel you. What are you that. talking about? No, because I'll take them off when I get in the sand, but like I'm, look, I'm coming in the sand with the, the shoes water, first. Or I'm gonna take the socks exactly. off. Exactly. But I might not get in the water. Yeah, but I'm not so getting the water, I'm coming with the socks on, on the like, sand. Yeah. Huh? And I'm dusting my No, my Yeah, socks. and I'm dusting them off. You said what? I dust them off. That was funny as fuck. Huh? You feel like comfortable? Like, my socks? Yeah, like, it's just cold. The only it? time I ever take my socks off is when I'm at my crib. This is the whole thing, like, the so exact. I feel like if I'm not at my crib, my socks need to be on. It's like this. The, huh? I, no, no, I just, I, just that's, I, I, don't I don't know. That's all program, nigga. I just feel like showing your toes is like kind of feminine, showing your toes. Not, no, I don't Man, know. I think it comes from that. No, I think no, showing your toes is feminine. No. So I'm when just, you look at a dude sitting on his toes, you kind of feel like, like, <laughs> When you see a motherfucker coming out, like even Kanye with the little chocolates that he just wore, he I just wore think a nigga, I just think when a nigga got the toes, I'm like, what is he doing? Look, like, Kanye with those new little sandals, he just had the little diamond sandals. He even had socks on. He didn't have no fucking. He didn't have them. Just see, no. I couldn't have the pigs out the blanket. <laughs> I put them shits in the blanket today. He had to, I ain't finna go viral, <laughs> nigga. The niggas gonna be in the comments like, what you doing, Kanye? Yeah. And they, he's premiering a new sandal. Where the easy socks? Yeah, he don't give a fuck. He ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Where the easy sock <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Like that's just cold. Like it's just. I feel like putting. I feel like. They feel like you guys are fucking ignorant. So wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Do you wear your? <laughs> wait, do you wear your Yeezy slides without socks? You wearing with socks? Yeah. yeah, cause you be around niggas all the time. You didn't on the culture. When I was a kid, though. I what are you? Are you toes out? Are you toes out? He's like, I'm toes out. With socks. Kiss with socks. Toes out. Don't do that. Are you toes, toes out? out. Are you, He's like, nah, I, I bet not ever catch you he's outside. Like, like, <laughs> he's like, I ain't one of those niggas. I bet not ever catch you outside. Yeah, I feel like bro had them toes oh, out with the thongs on, yeah. bro. Like the only time I wear these without socks, like I'm going to Muay Thai. Bro, I you remember in high school, Thai, so like I wear them. niggas that wear the wear the thongs with the no socks. I'm like, how are they doing that at seven in the look, morning? Wait, look, school? wait, like, look. <laughs> like what the fuck? Like wait, that the only shit reason sound dangerous. Wait, the only reason I love Crocs so much is because when I don't want to wear socks, it covers my fucking toes. Like so, you be out here in the Crocs with no socks? I would go out with Crocs only because my toes is covered. No, no I got pretty cool toes though. Look at this thing. He be having yeah. his toes. He be having his toes on. Wait, wait. You wear slip. You wear slip. Bro, toes? be having them toes on. I feel like I be have seen Skylet. I feel like I have seen Skylet. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Sometimes. He's not standing on it though. You're not standing on it. <laughs> you got ten toes down, bro. I don't know. Like I said, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing I really, that. I'm not told like you. I anymore. told you. It don't have nothing to do. I don't with even clothes. got ugly feet, but it's but just... since I've been on this earth, it's your socks is on your feet until you got the crib. Yeah, like I don't feel like I don't. Feel That's like just you. how it is. 
Because I don't even feel like slippers look like like the good nice slippers don't even look good with your toe. Without I remember socks. being that girl, so I was like, take your, take your socks off. I'm like, for what? Like, oh, the fuck, I'm gonna take my socks off. <laughs> like, unless I spend the night, like, bitch, the fuck, I'm gonna take my socks off. That's like fucking taking my skin off, bitch. Like, bitch, what you got going on at the house? I don't even take my. I got a termite. I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, I don't even. Yeah, I don't take my socks off. The light just went out. All right, let's go back to. Uh, we need to go back to uh, Ice Spice. Can we still? You love her so much. I love her. It was a Smasher Pass. I didn't write that. Yeah, I don't know what you on AC. You fucking freakazoid. I didn't write Smasher Pass. What? That's around? some misogynist, but I was. It's saying, not even. It's not even a fucking question. When she, when that's <laughs> it's not even a question. Like she's a piece of meat. She's a she piece of meat. Around, she turns around and shakes her ass in the video. It so that means that she wants to get fucked? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh my God. Censor this man. Am I wrong? That's AC2 Code saying that. AC2 Code. Uh, his, his opinion, that's, they're yeah, not that's the what, opinions that's what, of that, talk. That's what he's saying. With Eddie Baker and Chili Sosa. That she's shaking her like ass. Dancing. She's dancing. Like dancing. Yeah. yeah. You got to. It's provocative. Yeah, I mean, it's provocative. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's provocative. <laughs> He's definitely a Chad. Who? This guy. <laughs> Chad. Look here, you Chad. Hey, man, if she want to shake ass and drop videos. Hey, man. Was a, hey, he was a Chad in fucking high school. He was at the fucking, uh, what do you call the, the college shirt with the bros. At the sorority, what at happened the dorm, to the bros? At the, bro, dorm, the bros dorm house, the, the bro ho thing. Sorority, how the was frat that house was that, a, was that a thing in LA, bro hoes? You, you had the bro hoes house. out here? You were a Chad, bro. She's only shaking her ass, bro. Thing. She wanted it, bro. She's shaking her ass. You probably hung out with Chad. <laughs> 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 you the nigga was hanging out with Chad. You know, so <laughs> That's why I said it was LA on that shit. Well, that's nah, my IU shit, bros and that hoes. Was, that's some IU. That shit that. was so annoying, bro hoes. Like, nigga, what were y'all doing? Listen to Cottonmouth Kings and smoking oh weed. God. Like, shut your weird ass up. Wait, like, wait. Back. <laughs> like, bro, like, SR8 socks and shit. Like, bro, y'all need to shut the fuck Metal out of militia. Bro, no fear. Like, why are y'all wearing that? I ain't gonna lie. When I was selling weed with my little white homies, I was wearing that shit for a little bit. I was happy that my No, I ain't gonna lie. I had a no fear shirt, but. I had nigga, a Metal Militia tee. My mom bought that shit. I didn't know what the in fuck the it Soul was. Calgary. And I bought it to Montclair Mall. And I had, Montclair had a Montclair Mall. I had a no fear in there back yeah. in the day. I had a, a little... Uh, I never wore Famous. Oh, I wore Famous. Famous was hard. I ain't gonna lie. Famous was that shit, yeah. I'm gonna keep it a thousand percent with you. I ain't never put Famous on my body. So we're fat. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I could have made a bootleg shirt. <laughs> But no, famous was like, because I wanted some. I ain't gonna lie. Like, no, I, I, was like, like, I had one famous shirt. All the homies were wearing famous. Nobody, I was fucking was wearing famous. Everybody at Colony, everybody was wearing famous. Who? Everybody. Who the fuck was you fucking with? Bro, famous? everybody wore famous in Colony. I didn't wear it though, because like, I didn't. You was hanging around with the other niggas. With the other niggas? Yeah, the other. You know, it was very clicked up back then. The niggas that was other. You was hanging out with them no, niggas wearing totally. famous. Bro, I asked Johnny and them about famous. Thank you. That's in the famous same famous category as Team Jordan. Thank famous, you. Famous was like the bros and bros and stuff. Y'all like crazy. Famous, famous Stars and Stress was crazy. Y'all didn't have swag. Y'all ain't got no swag. Bro, don't do that. Because <laughs> I don't want to even, I don't even want to go there with you, nigga. Don't do that. But Famous, bro, it was not for famous everybody, bro. Like, it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, from, from the white boy to Travis Barker shit. To the hood, to the, the niggas. Hood. Yeah, the niggas oh, were fucking with Famous. Oh, yeah, we started fucking. We keep it thousand percent Hispanic niggas fucked with Hamas with the, famous. After the niggas had it. None of my niggas was fucking with famous. The niggas had it. First. It wasn't that. Oh, when famous death had a sponsorship. That was lit. He had the sponsor. To what? The uh, famous star of Strap. Was he? I mean, that's still Travis Barker's fucking lie. Like that's still hot. In the Empire. That's still a lie. That's not like Family. I think I think it's more like a Hollywood line now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know it's still cracking. Oh yeah. But you know, you gotta think about his demographic now. Like Travis Barker is no longer like in that MTV demographic anymore. He's AC fucking, probably got famous. He's like a like I'm sure it's like some it's like some uh what do you call it? like some uh chrome heart type shit now. Bro, I don't even think they I think famous started straight. Nigga ain't seen no famous since like 2010. Cause y'all not the demographic. Y'all niggas wearing. What does that mean? Somebody would you would see somebody wearing the round, nigga. You're not the demographic. <laughs> they don't want y'all niggas in it. 
Nobody want to wear that shit no more. That shit from 07, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> that shit came out when we had nigga had chirp <laughs> phone. Nobody want to wear that shit no uh, more. That nigga's stupid. Kardashian. He ain't doing no famous stars. Yeah, that nigga anymore. chilling right now. Y'all sleep. 200. Y'all sleep. They just dropped it. Season 1, 2022, nigga. They about to start some new shit. You finna cop? Nigga, I might get sponsored by them just because y'all said some shit. And be the new Don't give your hopes up, bucko. Be fresh as hell. Don't give your hopes up. Might be fr- fresh as hell. Is there an Ethica uh, update? Ethica update? The Ethica's on the way. The box? The Ethic, the box. It's on the way. You want a pair? I'm gonna size you. You want a pair? <laughs> when a nigga first gets to me, you want some? I got you. Remember, they, they fuck with me. I got y'all. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get the pro club. Man. Pro, what's up? Why is everybody getting pro club with us? Man. And then niggas don't even appreciate it. I don't I, see niggas wearing it. Niggas still in the other club. Shit. Pro Club followed me, but they ain't fucking. I hit them all like, what's up? Man, they I need a shit. box of that shit. Like, bitch, give me a wearing Pro Club since like, six Like, I'm not grade, a real West Coast nigga, rapper. Like, like, I'm not a real West Coast rapper. They got me fucked up. But you still, you still up the West Coast? I'm supposed to get the Pro Club comp- sponsorship. Like Ice Cube? That's what I'm saying. Can I get the Pro Club sponsorship? I ain't seen nobody throw up the West in a minute. That looked crazy. If man. I got the Pro Club sponsorship, I would really put on. Huh? That's all I throw up is the West Coast. <laughs> Nigga, why do you do that? I'm a West Side. <laughs> that shit looks crazy. West Side. <laughs> Don't throw it up in no picture I take with you. <laughs> I'm going to be an old rapper. So <laughs> nah, I don't want you take doing that in my picture. I'm nigga. getting ready for my 50-year-old. I don't want to be in picture seeing you in the back doing that, nigga. That looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to have a Harley outside doing that. <laughs> 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 like fuck, bro. That shit funny. Oh my god! Imagine if you became a biker now. <laughs> no, I am a biker. My dad is a biker. <laughs> That's so funny. Don't mean you a biker. In my blood, it thinks I am a biker. No, you're not a biker. Nigga. I'm a legacy. <laughs> Next time, <topic>, bro. <laughs> How important was the Breakfast Club to the culture? Was it that important? Yeah, I feel like we got some of it. Fuck yeah. Mo got offended. I'm just asking. God damn. <laughs> Nigga said, what? You said what? I mean, it's just we've had some of the most important interviews in hip hop. Yeah, fucking legendary. Birdman, Gucci Man, Kanye West, Beanie Single, Jay-Z, Dame Dash. Who? Wiz. 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 Every rapper. Donald Glover, Kodak Black. Literally everybody that's hot right now. Little Dirk, young been, boy. They've been through there. King Von. Young boy been on Breakfast Club? No, not Young Boy. Excuse me. Young, boy young, boy. young Boy don't do interviews. Yeah, like, that's why I was like, he been on Breakfast Club? Young Boy is too hot. He hot. He don't give a fuck, about, fuck shit. about shit. Man. I'm going to drop an album to get rich off y'all niggas. I, th- I heard he just got like 5 billion streams today. Like he just hit the 5 billion stream club. Yeah, I don't need no record there. The only person that's ever hit that is Drake. For real? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's out there. He's out of there. What the fuck? Why? How? Like, where is this NBA young boy surge coming from? Nigga, he's been hot. It's a Utah. YouTube. Oh, he's the biggest artist on YouTube. He's been number one for like years on YouTube. I be I be seeing all that shit. Like, damn, is he ever gonna fall off? Still be number one. That's crazy. Cause he got everybody at the house like this. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Niggas are glued. Like, are we trying? Are we trying to see like, is it the beef? Is it the music? Cause I love NBA Young Boy's music. Like, I mean, I haven't listened to a lot of the new projects, but like his first few that he dropped. We're fucking crazy. Nigga, I seen a nigga on TikTok ask a nigga, like, who is the finest female rapper? He said, NBA Young Boy. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? Yeah, he man. said, yeah, anything NBA, NBA Young Boy better. If, if any subject, NBA Young Boy. I'm like, this nigga is a real NBA Young Boy fan. Do these kids really be fans or are they just a big troll? No, they're fans. They know the songs. They 4K huh? Trey. They slime the niggas out. They tripping. Like, you ever who, seen a, a young young boy fan? They are tripping for real. Did maybe Lil Wayne have that effect when we were younger? On us? Yeah. Yep. Like you'll see that biggest see, rapper that, like. Yeah, because I, I feel you. Like Lil Wayne was that rapper that like you couldn't tell a nigga see, that Lil Wayne wasn't here. the best rapper. There's yeah. nobody better than him. Where that come He's from? the hardest yeah, one. Wayne, I think I'm weird. You, you can put Lil Wayne against any rapper. To this day, niggas are still arguing that Lil Wayne harder than Drake. I feel like he's more legendary than Drake. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure, and but he, Drake is up there too, though. Drake, it's like hard to argue it now because it's just one of those things. Drake is as damn near as legendary now too. But do you think that like 
Kanye West or like Jay Z or like fucking even Little Wayne, you think they just go like wake up sucking Drake's balls like oh it's just so fucking great like you think they just fucking think like that? I don't like, know how you said it. No, huh? but... that's what I'm trying to say. Like I don't feel like like I feel like Drake's a great artist. Don't get me wrong, like, Drake's a great artist. He's done a legendary thing. Obviously, he's broke records, but it's like he and when this hip hop shit is said and done, can you put Drake up there? Like there's only five spots in that fucking Mount Easily. Rushmore. Easily, but he doesn't write his Easily. music though. He doesn't write his music. Easily putting. I love Drake, five, bro. Easily in hip hop rap. Easily not music. Easily not music. You saying Drake can't rap? He does write his own music. Does he? Yeah. But that's the thing though. It's really skeptical. It's like this. It's like the whole thing with like with fucking like Barry Bonds. Like nigga, can you give him all the home runs? Nigga, if no, he's, he's on steroids. steroids. Nah, exactly. He's on the drugs. That's what I'm trying to say. You can't like nigga. That's the same thing like having a writer. Like nigga, do all the hits but count? Is, he on, is every song a writer or is this yeah, a, some songs? It's not like steroids because he, he wasn't. It's not every song is is written by somebody else or he's a reference track for somebody else. It's not all the time. We don't know what is what though. There's been way too many times. You got to think too, and as an artist, you put yourself in that. Like I said, when you start saying that you're the best, you're the, like, you know, as an artist, you got to put yourself in that category for niggas starting to put you in that top five because you got to be saying shit on records and, you know what I'm saying, putting out different songs for people to even be like. Oh, you're the best. Man. Yeah, because Wayne did it, you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z did it, and Drake was one of those. J. Cole does it, you feel me? Kendrick does it. Big Sean does it. And Drake does it too, you feel me? But it's like, the thing is, though, we're not hearing about Kendrick Lamar Ghost Riders. We're not hearing about Big Sean Ghost Riders. We're not hearing about J. Cole Ghost Riders. We're not hearing about, like, and that's the thing. I feel like it kind of goes to that Ryan Garcia thing, you know what I'm saying, where it's like he's in the he's in the league and he's talked about, but it's like he ain't fought nobody credible enough to, like, for the real boxers to take him seriously. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I don't feel like J. Cole is over there, like, looking at all Drake's acc accolades, like, oh, my God, he's just so much better than me. You know what I'm saying? He's probably like, shit, like, I think I got 10 riders oh, on this shit. better being more successful at two different things. No, no. no, no. no okay, being more successful, that can be something for sure. Being better, they're not as good as Drake. Drake, nobody cares. There's some legendary uh, verses that are undeniably Drake. Okay, look, let me tell you, like, Drake is a great artist. You ever heard In the Morning with Drake, J. Cole and Drake? J. Cole had to rewrite. Drake guessed that. J. Cole had to rewrite that verse, and it still wasn't him. But you, you, but you just gonna say Drake's just a better artist than Jay Cole and all that? Yes. I mean, think about work with Drake. I feel like that's uh, debatable. And I, I'm a, I'm a, I would say I'm more of a Drake fan for sure. Like I probably know more of Drake's catalog than Jay Cole, but I can't say like. But I'll, I'll go back and listen to different Jay Cole shit. Like I've been listening to his album, the, uh, the re up, whatever, the new one that just came out. Nigga, yeah, it's hard. Like it's like it was songs that I'm re catching. Like damn, this nigga is fucking legendary. The one he just dropped. Yeah. That shit's hard, bro. I've been bumping it, and I'm like, it's songs that I didn't catch, and I'm catching now, and I'm like, this nigga is fucking like, he's really on that legendary status. Like, hip-hop, real music, like, yes, nigga. Like, it, 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 the I same didn't, didn't the same feeling like that Drake gives you, you on no. shit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Why can't I look? Every time I'll give you a look, you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, I'm just looking at you, nigga. Damn. Drake, but Drake is way too versatile, and his songs are way too, they're, they're, his songs are way, way too many of his songs are, are timeless. They're, and he's a great artist because he works with a lot of great people. He just put on, he just has, he just has repeat music. You want to put on repeat? I love, and I feel like he's a pop star. I feel like Drake is a pop star. I feel like on some print shit. A hundred. I don't feel like you can put Drake in that. Rap. I feel like to put Drake in that rap category is cheating because he doesn't. He transcends rap. He's bigger than rap. First of all, even his exactly his rap songs are anthems. Okay, like this. It's like this. You're just saying that he's bigger than rap. Okay, but then, but that's, but that's what I'm saying though. Like, there's this rap shit is different than having like writers in there and who's making the biggest anthem. It's like a skill for him because you got artists like Jada Kiss, you got artists like Styles P, you got, you know, that's like these are great niggas with the pen. These Lupe Fiasco, these are niggas that's really hard with the pen, nigga that have legendary records, legendary albums, nigga, and they're in that conversation too. Because right now we're hitting that 20 years of like this new generation at 20, 30 years of this new hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying starting from like Jay-Z and like, not the 80s niggas, you know what I'm saying? This new generation, like you can put Jay-Z at the top, but niggas have come for the crown. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't downplay other niggas' albums. And no artists have a perfect catalog. 
that everybody was just like every album was just fucking hard. You can go to Drake's catalog and there's there's projects where niggas be like, Drake doesn't hasn't had a solid album top to bottom since the debatable, and that's what I'm saying. Hip hop is debatable. Can you put Drake's last album in his catalog when you talk about the great? Because that's what you're gonna do when we have this conversation ten years from now, five years from now, when they're having that ten top ten top five debate. You gotta go with the catalog. But them other albums were so good, they they, they get in there. But it's like you strayed away from the 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 sound though. Hip hop. But you just said who no had the better? One, no, no one has all perfect albums. But they have hip hop albums though. That's the thing. Like okay, like you say, Kanye kind of like went off the rail with the uh, with 808 and Heartbreaks. But it, Jesus. But they're still like at the core hip hop albums. The rap albums. He's rapping on a lot of those songs. Maybe not, not that. Maybe not that. All. Maybe not that. But it's a hip hop album, though. It's a hip hop vibe. The beats, the drums, the 808s. That's hip hop shit. I feel like he has. I feel like he has a lot of albums that are like that. I feel like he has a lot of hip hop songs on him. But the last album he just dropped. <laughs> I'm just saying. What up? What about uh? What's the album that he dropped with his father on the cover? More life. More life. That was like an international fucking. It was like some rap songs on it, some fucking Canadian, some tropical. I'm just saying. What? Where did tropical come from? <laughs> what category is that? <laughs> Jamaican, whatever that shit is. That's this nigga um, said tropical. I love Drake, but like, I just feel what? like it's cheating to put him in like. It's like putting like. I don't fuck no. I didn't say he's the best rapper. I said that he's a good art. He might be a better artist, but I, he might be a more diverse artist. But I don't think he's a better rapper. Rap is different than hip hop. Rap is different than being like an artist. Like is Donald Glover in this discussion? Yeah. He definitely has a catalog. Yeah, he def- but I'm saying like, can you put him in that rapper catalog? And like that debate, I w- I would say you put Drake and Childish Gambino and like who's that like him Childish Gambino, maybe throw like a K- Kanye in there. Bro, Kid Cudi, I feel like Kid Cudi's rap, you wanna but talk about that, doesn't, that doesn't write their own lyrics. Who Kanye? What are you talking about? But I don't feel like Kanye's ever in that top. I feel like he's more artist too. I don't feel like he's a rap that rap debate. No, look, look, look. I don't feel like Kanye's no, in look, the. Look, look, look. I don't feel like Kanye's in that top no, look, five. Look, look. He might be like the hottest MC. He he'll always be in that like who's one of the hottest MCs. But I don't feel like people go to Kanye for like rap. Like he's not the most best rapper in the world. He makes a good song. He's a good. He's going at fifty for best rap, best album back in the day. I don't feel like Kanye's a better rapper than fifty. I'm just saying he was going at him for that back in the day. For the hottest, they were they they they. they remember they had that list of top ten hottest MCs. That's not the best MCs, though. The hottest niggas at the time is different than being the fucking... Like, nigga, when you're... A, when, like, that's the thing. You're going to argue this Kanye shit down, huh? No, not even that. I'm just saying, when you're in this conversation that's, like, one of the GOATs, like, who's the best MC, like, rapper MC, like, the, the king of rap, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a bunch of bars. Because why are, niggas, why are niggas, like... You got to think of, like, nigga like Joey Badass just dropped the album. He Them goes number one. fucking bars. And he goes number one when he drops the album because hip hop is still like the main thing. Like niggas listen, niggas like Corday. Like that's niggas that's going for that spot as the best rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like th- they barring shit, nigga. Like Draco. We we talk about Draco all the time. Draco was barring shit. You feel me? Bars. What? He wasn't? No, I feel like he had one of the best. I feel like he was one of the best. I feel like that's why he was getting written about because he was one of the best lyricists in LA. I agree with you. But he's not coming out like I'm. I'm a lyricist. Yeah, like, kind of like he's not like, doing that. He's just creative and unique and and. I feel what you're saying. Same thing with Drake. Gucci Man. Kind of. Uh, Gucci Man's not a lyricist though. I said, Gucci Man say some shit. He be saying some shit, but I don't feel like he's trying to be like. But I'm saying, Gucci Man more trying to be catchy. I don't feel like a little bit. Yeah, catchy exact. Catchy Gucci Man trying to be more catchy. Catchy is different than being like lyrical. Yeah. Like I feel like Draco's lyrical for sure. I feel like Lil Baby is a catchy rapper. Like he makes, uh, is he lyrical? Yeah. Lil Baby lyrical. He be saying some shit. Yeah. I feel like he like a damn. I don't know. So what, I, like, uh, I don't know what to kind of put Lil Baby in that because if niggas are trying to put him in like that top five in the next ten years. They'll say sure, Lil they Baby's they in that. For sure, try to throw Baby up. That's what I'm trying to say. Like that now, Baby is different artist than Drake. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's a different... Like, because first of all, okay, let's just keep it real. In this rap shit, if you want to be considered, like, in the top, you got to have the streets. If you don't got the streets, and, like, and that's the respect of the streets, like, niggas have you to... You love mentioning the streets. You I'm just keeping it... In a podcast. <laughs> every podcast. <laughs> no, but I'm saying in rap... You need the streets. In rap, you need the streets. In rap, you got to have the streets. <laughs> got, once you lose the streets, you can't be in the topic no more. Little Baby is one of the hottest rappers in the world right He's now. Got he, got, the he got the streets. And when you got the streets, you got the the culture. The co- the streets is the culture. Going back to going back to the Khaled conversation, Khaled's main point about the Tyler thing is that he would when he was going walk, driving around to the barbershop and stuff, you would hear his album playing. You would never hear anybody playing Tyler. Tyler has the streets. I feel like Tyler got the streets. Tyler? Tyler's Tyler definitely got the streets. Tyler, okay. okay, look. This is one thing about it, too. I feel like Tyler has a cult fan base, and I feel like he has maybe the streets of Silver Lake. You know what I'm saying? Or like the streets of fucking... <laughs> the streets of Fairfax, but he got the street. He get, It's niggas bumping Tyler the Creator. It's a lot of niggas bumping Tyler the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about, like, yeah, like... Like, people are looking up the little baby, like, listening to what he's saying. Like, they're listening. They're listening. Think about what being, like, they're listening to... His fucking his 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 words, you know what I'm saying? He's speaking real nigga shit, so that's why he's getting the street. Now Drake, that's debatable sometimes with Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just, you're just a Drake hater. I love Drake. I'm not a Drake hater, but I'm just talking about this hip hop rap game is different. The streets go home at night. They they fucking Drake soft shit. That's how much. Cause I go home and I, I'm I feel like people. You, bitch, you bump Drake. You have been Drake. It's a lot of people that don't bump Drake, bro. It's a lot of people that bump Drake, but it's a lot of people that do bump Drake. It's a lot of people that do, but it's a lot of people in the streets that don't bump Drake. But Drake is like, I you feel like Drake? I'm bumping Drake. In the I'm not, yeah. All right, then. Well, but yeah, and that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's more <laughs> pop star. Like Drake is like a Michael Jackson now. In the streets. He's like a Michael star. A Michael star? He's like a Michael Jackson type shit. Like, you know, if you would have got the Michael Jackson feature back in 88, like, you know, that would took you up. That would have blew you the fuck out the way. <laughs> it would have been crazy. How many features have Michael Jackson done? I'm sure you had to I was arguing much. with a nigga the other day. I'm like, nigga, Michael Jackson would have the most followers on Instagram if he was alive. Yes. He probably had a billion followers, nigga. He would have been the hottest new right He had now. a billion. He had like a billion followers, nigga. Know, Who wouldn't have followed Mike? I know. People would make Instagrams to follow Mike. That's so crazy. That's nuts. <laughs> Mega stars, that's a dead. That's about to be gone soon. Like a mega star, I'm like, like I'm about to be a mega star. One like day. to where you can't walk in the mall. Yeah, you just get I'm fucking drop that shit. No, I don't want to be a mega star. That might I be do. too crazy. I do. You want to be like Michael? Statues of you. That's hot. That's hot. What? That's hot. Michael couldn't even deal with that shit. That's why Michael died. That's- couldn't deal I, with that shit. Nah, he got some other shit going on. That <laughs> was the fame. He got with the fame. He got some other shit going on before the that. The fame made him he crazy. He couldn't be a kid. You feel me? That's what, that's what it was. Because of the fame. He nah. could, think about it. Michael was famous since he was 10 years old. Or like five years old. Five years old famous. Man, I wish he never, I had that. He never, what the fuck? He never got to experience being a regular person in life. Like, fuck being a regular person. His whole I, life. I did it, Mike. You don't want to do, you don't wanna do this. <laughs> He went out the right way. That's the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this regular life shit. Like that. Yeah, fame, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga, stupid as shit. <laughs> nigga, that's one of the biggest niggas ever in the fucking world, nigga. Come on, now. Think about it. His house is legendary. Like, come on, like, bro. Like, like, think about when you get your crib and you like, buy it. fucking Michael you Jackson. Buy, think about it. You buy your nice TV, buy your game system, you get a nice couch for the guests, a nice refrigerator. This nigga had never land. Like, his house is just like, like nigga, that. I have a fucking ranch with rides and, and animals. Uh-huh. I never knew. I, I believe they they tore down Neverland. And in L.A.? Somewhere in, like, the valley? Yeah, it was deep, deep in the, the valley. valley. Let's see where Neverland Ranch was. They but tore I, it down or they changed it to something? I think they changed it to something. I think they, like, t- tore, like tore it down type shit. Oh, they did? Yeah, like, because ain't nobody gonna buy that shit. Fuck that fat cat. Look at that cat. Fat as hell. That cat mm-hmm. like garbage. Oh, it's called Sycamore Valley Ranch. Told you they changed it to something else. <laughs> it's in Los Olivas. Is that in L.A., though? Yeah, I'm going to see how far that is. Should we go over there? No. I'm down. We do an episode there. They ain't going to let niggas in there. A seance. Nobody died there, motherfucker. Michael died, definitely died there. What are you talking about? Oh, he did die there. I'm tripping. <laughs> Michael definitely died there, bro. That's crazy. What if Michael didn't die? He just died in his house. What if he didn't die? In his big-ass estate. 
You just confused us, bro. You said, what if he didn't die, but he died in his that house? That shit is 116 uh, miles away. That shit is far as fucking L.A. That shit is not even in L.A. anymore. What is that? Oh, he was in a cut, nigga. Nigga, he had a big ad. It yeah, takes man. two hours to get there. Two oh, yeah, he's in Santa Barbara minutes. for show. Two hours at midnight? Yeah, he's in Santa Barbara for show. Yeah, it's like past Santa Barbara, low-key. Are you trying to take a two hour and 17 mission? That's crazy. To not get in? He was like, fuck LA. I ain't gonna be in LA. I don't know. Everybody gonna know me out there. <laughs> Damn. I'm tucked away in Santa Barbara. You can't get me. That's crazy. You really want that fame, though? You can't even go to the grocery store? You can't go to the liquor store? No, I don't you want that fame. That's too much. Have, have Security. I don't wanna be that famous. Security. Security or Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Marilyn Monroe. They can't take it. Like all these people, they couldn't take it. It was too much. Chili could take it. It's unbearable. You have the chili. You tell me every day you don't like being this famous. Shit, you could take it. No, oh, Jay. <laughs> I'm like, don't lie, nigga. <laughs> don't lie, nigga. Just, <laughs> like, nigga, just, just randomly say some shit. <laughs> like, nigga, shut like, the You fuck told me up. the other day the fame is too much. <laughs> like, nigga, lie. <laughs> like, no, bring it to me. Bring it to me, nigga. The I right way, though, not the wrong way. I know, couldn't man. imagine being Michael Jackson. Like, man, I could. I just dropped a bang. I can't own them all. We gotta <laughs> just drop the bank. We gotta order shit online, my nigga. Can't go in there. And then my me. whole thing is like, how do you meet women at that at that point? Like, Wait, I'm not you... meeting you. I'm just fucking. That's bitch, I'm hot as fuck. What you mean? I'm finna you meet what? you. No. Bitch, you finna yeah, you finna. That's meet what I'm me. trying to say. Like that probably sucks. Like every bitch knows you. Like damn, I can't meet a bitch. Like every bitch just wants to meet you. I want to meet you. I'm hot, bitch. You know me. What's on you like? <laughs> 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 the fuck? I don't got time to meet, bitch. You know who I am. What about them days when you wanna? Like the other day, I just cuddled with a girl for like, we just cuddled for you hours. You hit somebody you met in high school. And I was like, damn, sometimes the, the cuddle, the cuddle is good sometimes. Sometimes you just need to cuddle. You hit somebody you met in school, that you already know then. That you met before you got hot. You're rich and you've been Michael Jackson. You didn't go to school. They did. You, you went a, for a minute. You had a homeschool. Motown paid for it. You got to fuck on somebody you met back in the Joe day. Joe Jackson, then. Joe Jackson and your mom. You got to fuck just on somebody fucking, you met uh, on tour back in the day. <laughs> somebody ran Mama, Mama fucking uh, Jackson. <laughs> and Joe Jackson was your fucking teacher. They went to school, life. though, for a second, though. I don't think they went to school. They did go they to school. They were Mormons, weren't they? Aren't they Mormon or Jehovah's Witnesses, huh? Jehovah's. They're Jehovah's. They go to school. I don't think they went to school, bro. Because the Jehovah's Witnesses the Jehovah's Jehovah Jehovah go to school. They fucking Motown. They fucking uh I could have sworn they went to school they went to, they went to school for a second. I could have sworn they got in trouble for something. Hell no. In the movie. You thinking or of the movie, huh? Like thinking <laughs> <laughs> thinking of like the school scene. No, like nigga, they, they, they had no high school I'm scene. Probably, not high Michael school. Jackson? Michael not, Jackson. Nah, not high school, but Tito Jackson. I don't know. Maybe they didn't. I don't nigga, know. fuck school. I'm hot. I'm going to school for school come to me. Fuck that. What do you mean, fuck that? You don't go to school? Think about it. Michael Jackson had the Pepsi commercial. He That's what like, I'm saying. He had so much Nike. He had everything. What the fuck I'm going to school for? He was just insane. I like am that. school. They finna learn about me in school. It's got to be scary to be that rich. It ain't scary. And famous. It ain't scary. No, nah, not to be that rich. What? He got murdered. Yeah. I don't feel like he got murdered. I never heard that. I'm not finna get into that. In the black community, that's never been a conspiracy. <laughs> never thought. We knew Michael was probably doing some shit. <laughs> Shout out to Michael. I had his, I told you I had his daughter perform at one of my shows. Yeah, I told her I got some exclusive shit. I know. We can't be talking about Michael. I don't know his daughter. I love Mike. What the fuck? I love Mike. You talking I, about the, Mike. Are we talking? Am I talking about Mike? Why are you looking at me like that? I thought you were. And uh, we love Michael. I... You see this I am. Thing? I don't believe any bad thing against Michael. I think Michael Jackson was a wonderful person. I'm saying he got murdered, not that he murdered. I know. I'm just saying, like me personally, like I don't believe any. I've had like arguments with the homies before, like you know, friends, like about Michael Jackson. Like, do I believe that he did all that shit? I don't believe he did all that shit. I think he was framed. I think he was just a super big, super fucking star. What I, just I think he was crazy. I think he was crazy as hell. I'm, not, I'm just speaking in general because people are gonna comment on this shit, like. <laughs> But uh, such a scary ass. Up. I'm just speaking. We gotta. We have to. You have to get ready for the uh, the backlash. You gotta get ready for the big time. You know what I'm saying? We gotta start being politically correct in the first hundred episodes. Because after that, it gets crazy. Are we rodeoing this bitch up? That's good. Cut it up. Cut it up. Cut it up. Little nigga, I'll be smoking on a block. This is Eddie fucking Baker. I'm Chelly motherfucking Sosa. And this has been another episode of Blunt Talk. Motherfucking Blunt Talk, you motherfuckers. We'll see you motherfuckers next week. Can we get some guests yet? What's going on?
We're gonna get the guests. You just keep saying I'm I'm tired of coming to work with no guests. Wolf is coming. He's like that bad, that bad uh yeah. boss. We're gonna get guests. Just keep keep, 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 keep working. Work. Yeah, keep, keep working. Keep working. We're we gonna get guests. Don't worry we'll about have it. Guests soon. We need y'all niggas at work. You know though. what's so funny? We got so many guests that want to come on. We need to finish it. Lock we it got, in. We gotta redo this fucking wolf episode. Lock it in, big dog. Come here, smoke a blunt, see the topic. We're gonna do Come on, lock right, it in, big y'all. dog. Let you big we gonna redo this. We're gonna get, redo this wolf episode. Are you a superstar or not? I'm a superstar. Yeah, come on. They call your megastar and let's go. <laughs> come on, make that move. What's a megastar? I mean, in your world, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is blunt talk, man. Get at me, man. <laughs> I mean, in your world. <laughs> this nigga's stupid. Niggas is feeling that. <laughs> Keep that in there. Why would you take it out? Why would you take it out?